How's it going, everybody? Actor Shikawa here. Welcome to the CTP track rating form. Uh, this video I wanted to make just kind of on a whim, uh, because the, the track testing form has been out, I think, for a couple of days now at the time of recording, and I thought I would record all of my responses to all of the tracks currently in CTP as of July 2022. Um, I thought this was a good way to kind of it's an easy way for you guys to get to know my thoughts on all the tracks in kind of like a, a vague format because like there are 218 of these to get through. Uh, it's going to be a long form video so I hope you stick along for the ride. Um, basically how the form works is there are three options for each. Uh, you can either vote to remove it, uh, to keep it, or if you're just indifferent about it you can click indifferent. Um, and we're going to give you all 18, 218 sorry, uh, different tracks in CCP and yeah, it's just a way of recording my responses. Uh, the one thing I will say uh, before I get started is that in no way, shape or form is this meant to uh, offend any CT creators uh, or anything like that. If there's something I don't like about the track, I will call it. I am fair. Uh, if there are things I like about a track I don't like, I will say it. If there are I don't like a track, if, it, if there are things I don't like about a track uh, in a track I like, then I'll say that as well. I like to be fair. Uh, when it comes to stuff like this because I don't want people, you know, coming after me saying I'm being disrespectful or, you know, oh, you, sh you shouldn't have said this or what have you. Um, it's just an honest take and it's just my opinion. Uh, obviously, my thoughts and feelings may not necessarily reflect yours, uh, but let me know in the comments uh, of the video what differences you'd have made uh, to your list. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get started right away. Uh, abandoned Boardwalk. Uh, oh God. I mean, it's it's good. Is it my favorite track? No, um, but there are some cool things about it. I like the setting. Um, I like the, the little river section where you go the water. That's pretty cool. Um, I think the setting is the main thing for me. Uh, different colored water is really cool. I think that there are a few straightaways where nothing's really happening. But I mean, other than that, I yeah, I'd vote to keep it. It's a, it's a, it's a cool track. Uh, right. Abyssal, Abyssal Ruins. Um, God, this one's been in CFTP for as long as I can remember. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Um, I'm just indifferent to it, I suppose. I don't really want it removed. I mean, it's, uh, it's a decent track for what it is. Uh, again, the setting's really cool. Um, there's, there are a couple of jumps which are a little bit tricky, like the little mushroom pad section feels a bit awkward sometimes, but... I mean, I don't think that's necessarily grounds for removal. The track drives fine, and the settings cool. It looks, for a track as kind of old as it is, it actually still looks quite decent. So I'm just kind of, yeah, I'm indifferent to it. Uh, right, Alpine Peak. Uh, okay, this one is a bit of a weird one. Um, it shouldn't be three laps. This is an issue, I think, with a lot of CTP, CTP tracks. Uh, they're way too long when they're not, it shouldn't be justified that they're way too long. Um, like, this track should be two laps, tops. Um, and even then, um, it just kind of feels like there are... The ending section is very, very dull, uh, in my opinion. Uh, things are... Lo oh, and the, uh, the tree section, when you're going up the little, um, like, the hill. I think it's cool in concept, but in execution, it's a little bit irritating having to, like, uh, weave through all the trees, and then having a massively high jump at the end. In terms of things I like, I like... I love snow tracks, that's always a, that's always a plus. Any kind of winter-themed track, I'll always be a sucker for. And I do like the, the little theme of going through the town at the end and the little cave section's really cool. Um, but honestly, if if it's not updated to uh, change it to two laps, um, I would just I would just remove it, to be honest. Uh, Acrodrome stage. Uh, hmm. This is this is a, a tough one to rank. Um, because Acrodrome stage, again, the setting's really cool. I like how it takes place in a kind of water park. Um, but at the same time, um, kind of two of the routes don't really mean anything. Uh, like the red path, no one ever, I never see anybody online take the red path, never. Uh, or even like in Frooms or Minicos, whatever, no one takes the red path. It's either the, the yellow or the blue path. So I guess one route's um, uh, irrelevant, my bad. Um, and the, you know, a few of the turns are very awkward. I don't like how if you just miss a turn uh, after the, the different path and the water shoots, you're just kind of stuck and you have to turn around and go back. But um, the theming's cool. Um, do I want it removed? I, I don't know. I don't really care, <laughs> to be honest. I'm just kind of indifferent to it. It's a cool setting, and I like bits of it, but there are elements of it I would 100% change. 
Right, Aquania. Um, okay, I, I'll keep this one now. If, it, if this was the update beforehand, I would say remove it. Um, but I'd actually keep this one. Uh, the update to Aquania is very, very cool. Uh, I love the, the visual updates that were made to it. Uh, the little bubbles flying up is really cool. Uh, the kind of shortcut at the end that you can take with the mushroom is, is a pretty neat idea as well. Uh, yeah, and it actually drives a lot better than I thought. There are a couple of turns which are a bit iffy, but other than that, I mean, the track actually drives surprisingly really well. Uh, so I'd keep that. ASDF course. <sighs> right, so... It's an iconic track, and I get it. But, I mean... Just look at it. I mean, like, it's... Just look at it. Like, how is it still in? When you see other tracks getting rejected, like, for example, Midnight Museum, or, uh, like, you know, tracks like that, things, tracks that are really beautiful and really fun to play, um, and you see that got rejected, and yet this is still in, I don't get it. Um, it's simple, it's to the point, and it can be fun on modes like Item Rain, for example. Um, but honestly, I think it's just outdated, and I think once you've played it twice, you've just kind of played everything you can about it, then it starts to get boring. So I'd, I'd personally remove it, unless there's a, like a visual overhaul to it. I know there's ASDF City, but I would remove ASDF course it is, as it is now. Athletic Raceway. Right. So, uh, man. Where to begin? I this is my least favorite track in CCGP. I am not a fan of Athletic Race for whatsoever. Um, it feels it, it's visually lacking. Um, the soccer ball or the football, whatever you want to call it, the fact that it feels random really sucks. Some of the jumps then be way too high and are a bit awkward to make. Just give you the last kind of area. Just feels a bit dull. Um, I do have a compliment for it, in which the it's a it's a compliment towards the creator actually. But I've mentioned this before. Uh, in some videos of mine, but like, you can say what you want about Spy Kid's tracks, but Spy Kid is very creative. And you'll see some of his ideas later on in the, uh, in the video. Um, but Athletic Race, I think, was just a miss. It's it's a track that shouldn't be in CTGP, and it shouldn't have been ever added in CTGP, especially now, because it got added last year. And that isn't a track. When you see the other tracks that got added, uh, it was either last year or a couple of years ago. Uh, but regardless, when you see some of the tracks released in like 2020, 2021, how did they get in? How did they not get in and this get in? I don't, I don't understand it. Um, but yeah, I, I would remove this one. It's a, it's a, it's a miss, uh, in my opinion, unfortunately. Aura Metropolis. Um, I guess I'm just indifferent to it. I like the visuals. Uh, the visuals are cool. I like the blue kind of. I like the blue setting and the kind of neon kind of lights that go through it. Um, there are a couple of really awkward turns, like there's a, a, a bit where it goes downwards and there's a ramp there and it's really awkward. I'm pretty sure you can't make some of the jumps when you're small as well, which is a bit of a no-no for me. Um, in terms of it getting removed, I'm just kind of indifferent because the majority of it, uh, other than that, is fine. Like, it drives really well. I, I'm, I'm easy whether it gets removed or not. Uh, awesome Leaves Way. Um, this is a pretty cool idea for a track. Um, I think it's just the, the right length. I've heard from people it's basically Maple Tree with version 2, and it kind of is. Um, but I mean, there are different elements to it. There, there's a chain charm, there's a little wooded area, you kind of go into a little tree house. Um, I like it. I, I like Autumn Leaves Way. It's a, it's a fun track to mess around with in, uh, in your spare time, and you can go to time trials, and it, it's just fun. I think, I think Autumn Leaves Way is actually a very fun track, so I'd I keep this one. Banished Keep. Okay, so some people uh, got on my case for not liking Banished Keep as much as other people. Um, I still maintain the point that I had in my update video when this track got put in, in that I think a lot of the shortcuts will just be rendered a little bit useless. Um, but it is a very, very creative idea for a track. I personally prefer Blizzard's Rise by Metabus, because that one still has all the wacky shortcuts, but it's much shorter, it's much more streamlined, and uh, all the routes kind of seem to make sense and worth taking. Whereas some of the, some of the shortcuts in this just aren't worth taking whatsoever. But I, I wouldn't remove it. I would act, I would keep Banish Keep. Like, it's a good track, um, but I'm just not as big of a fan of it as, like, everybody else is. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just my opinion. Uh, biggest press sissy. Um, oh, oh, this is okay. I know, I know. Biggest press sissy. Now I saw it from the the picture. Uh, yeah, I'd keep this. Um, I love the vi new visual effects 
that have been done to it. It actually drives really well. Like, I've, I've always kind of felt that about British Express City. It drives really nicely. And the, uh, the visual overhaul that they did, you know, is perfect. I would, I'd 100% keep that. It's a, it's a pretty good track. Big Nature City, the other big city, I suppose. Um, it's two laps. Uh, I mean, the difference between Big Nature and Big Express, the Big Express is just a one lap track. And that feels long enough anyway. I think it's like a two minute track, maybe. Um, if you had two laps of that, that'd be ridiculous. I think Big Nature City is about a minute and, uh, it's like a minute 45 each, I think. It's like a three minute 30 track, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I mean, the track itself is fine. Like, it, it drives, it drives well. Uh, the shortcuts are pretty cool. Um, like, although anyone can just take the shortcuts uh, at the very beginning in uh, like lap one. So you can kind of get an easy breakaway. Um, but I mean, there are still other shortcuts that can catch you up. I'm I'm indifferent towards this one. Like, I'm, I'm not going to bat for it or, you know, say it should be removed either way. It's just kind of like, it's just kind of around. And that's, that's fine. Uh, Boji Skate Park. Right. This one immediately is the keep. Um, I, I adore this track. Um, like, Boji Skate Park is short. It's to the point. It really reminds you of games like Tony Hawk. Um, there are some cool shortcuts you can do. I love the Toads skateboarding outside. That's a very cool touch. Um, I don't know why the random car's there for no reason. It just kind of seems to ruin you for no reason. Although I guess, um, you know, it's meant to block the boost panel at the end. Although everyone still takes it. But regardless, um, it's a cool track. And uh, yeah, I'd 100% keep it. It's very, very cool. Okay, Bowser's Fiery Fortress, aka Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart 7. I think this is the first retro uh, on the list. Um, I know ZPL has made a better version of this track. So if that ever gets submitted, I would replace this one. But to my knowledge, last I last I heard, he hasn't submitted his version of um, of 3DS Bowser's Castle. So I'd say I'm, I'd keep this one for now, actually. I mean, it, there are some bits, like some routes, which are a bit pointless. I know you can actually drive up the, the side parts uh, backwards. I think that's the main point of them. Um, but otherwise, I'm just there for decoration. Uh, I think the track itself actually drives relatively fine. Um, it's just the fire pillars underwater are a little bit irritating. So you act like cacti. Um, and I can just knock you off the track. One in particular could knock you off the track if you try and make a jump. Um, but other than that, I think the track drives fine. Um, but if ZPL ever submits his version, then um, I'd, I'd replace it with uh, with that one. Caladay Desert, right. Um, I mean, it drives fine. Um, there, it's, it, This one's an oldie. This one's very old. Um, but it drives fine. Um, like, vis again, visually it's lacking. Uh, there are some straightaways which don't really feel like they're worth doing. Um, but there are some pretty cool shortcuts you can do. There are some really broken shortcuts you can do. I like kind of going over. I don't know why, but going over and into like the little kind of uh, pyramid -y area with the, the the rock wall, I think is pretty cool. Having one side of the pyramid being boost powers is really cool. Um, I'm just indifferent to this one. I think that if it didn't drive very well, I'd, I'd ask to remove it. But I mean, it's it's fine. It's 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 around and it's it, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Camp Cartigan. Um, I think I mentioned before that this this track reminds me of Gravity Falls, uh, like the TV show, and I don't know why, but I mean, I think it's a pretty cool setting. Uh, I like the cars uh, driving along, there's two different routes you can take, one through the cars, one not through the cars. Um, yeah, there are some cool shortcuts you can do in this one. I like the setting, the woodland setting is, uh, is always a nice touch, and uh, yeah, I think it just, again, it drives really nicely. Uh, so I, yeah, I keep this one, it's, uh, it's a good track. Candy Coaster, right. Uh, another Spiker track. Um, if he hadn't made the visual improvements, I would say bin it because it looked like a track that should go and some parts of it drove really awkwardly. But Spy Kid has fixed some things. He fixed the visuals and he fixed some of the, the main kind of issues that were seen in the track, which I, you know, which is great. Um, I think, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last update video I did with, like, Banish Keep, Candy Coaster, etc. Um, I put Spike in as one of the highlights because he updated Candy Coaster and Skyline Avenue, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, honestly, as it is now, um, I would probably keep it. Um, I think there are maybe a couple of issues still to fix. Um, but, like, other than that, I think that, yeah, the, the track's fine. I, I'd keep this one, honestly. 
Canyon Run, right. So this one is, uh... I don't want to be tinted by nostalgia for this one because this is the first track that Fred ever raced on. Uh, and I don't want to... I don't really want to sully the memory of this track. Um, it's very fun. Um, it's been updated before. It hasn't been updated for a while, but it has been updated before to remove the kind of bumpy parts of the road. Um, but I mean... Do I, do I keep it... I don't want to be blinded by nostalgia here, though, because it's an old track, but it looks it looks very cool. I like the setting of it as well. Um, I like the uh, like the hot air balloons flying in the background. 200cc, this track is a lot of fun. Um, I would, yeah, I would keep this. Um, like, it's, it's a lot of fun to play on, on 200 especially, but on 150 you can still clean the job as well through doing some shortcuts. And, uh, and it, again, it drives actually, for how many dips and dives and curves there are, it actually does drive quite well. Excuse me, right. Uh, Castle of Darkness. Right, so this is a three laffer. It probably shouldn't be three laps. Um, but I personally like Castle of Darkness. It's not like, again, it's not like my favorite track in the world, but I like time trialing it. It's, it's fun to time trial. It's fun to mess around with it. Um, the setting's a little bit dreary, um, to be honest. It, it is a bit dreary, but I mean, and, oh, and one of the routes is pointless as well, because one is clearly much faster. Um, but I mean, would I keep it? Maybe? It, it, it's tough. Um, there are pros and cons of that. I think it needs a visual overhaul, for sure. I think it needs a visual update. Um, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm indifferent to it. I think it's a bit dreary. Um, and again, one of the routes is pointless, but I think, again, it, it drives mostly well. Maybe apart from the, the two curves with the spikes on the floor. Although well, that is a very cool idea for a uh, for an obstacle. Uh, Castle of Time, right. Um, this one I would keep. Uh, this one is the, the, the better version, I think, of the uh, of Castle of Darkness. There's, it's, it actually has a theme. It's Zelda themed uh, to an extent. Uh, it's two laps instead of three. There's a cool shortcut you can do with only stars, bullet bills, mega mushrooms as well. Um, and yeah, it's just like, it's a very cool idea. Um, there's a blue shelter, a blue shell shelter, but I've never seen anyone attempt it or if it works. So please let me know if it actually does work, the blue shelter. Uh, but yeah, this, this is a better castle track. I would 100% keep this. And, it, and it's fun. That's the most important thing. It's fun. Celestial Ruins. Oh, man. Um... It doesn't look, uh, like from the picture I've got on here, it, I don't know why, but it reminds me of something from either Mario Golf Toastal Tour or Disney Golf, but that's just my five-year-old self talking, uh, because he loved Disney Golf, and I still do actually, it's a great game, um, but I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it drives actually quite well. I remember, um, the old Celestial Ruins being a complete nightmare to navigate. Um, especially during one split pass section where it's the sudden, like, sudden right angle, which you'd have to go off. Um, it's definitely an improvement, and it looks, it looks good, and I think it's quite fun, so I, I would keep this, honestly. Cherry Blossom Garden. Oh, man. Um, my opinion on this track has gone up and down in, uh, in the couple of years since this track was put in. On one hand... I love the theme. I love Japanese-inspired tracks. Cherry Blossom's my favorite trees. It drives well enough. Um, but on the other hand, it's just a bit boring. Like, it's it's a bit of a dull track. It's kind of like with ASDF ones. Once you've driven it a couple of times, you've kind of seen everything you want to see. Uh, the difference between the ASDF course and Cherry Blossom Garden, though, is that there are at least a few shortcuts you can take. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... It's a tough call, to be honest. I would, I'm, I'd honestly just be indifferent to it. Like, I don't really, it doesn't really affect me um, that much, to be honest. Uh, okay, Christmas Court. Um, again, it's a tough one. Um, I don't think that, um, it, it's okay. I mean, like, again, it, it drives fine, but um, at the same time, I don't really think that it kind of, it doesn't fit the kind of... I don't know if it fits CTGP. Like, there are some... I mean, I don't know. It's a tough one. Um, I mean, the, the main route itself is pointless because everyone will just take the shortcut. There is random snow for no reason. Like, it's really heavy snow for no reason. You could mushroom through, but it doesn't really give you much of an advantage. 
Um, if you trick off the ramp uh, at the end, sometimes you do hit the ceiling, uh, which is a bit irritating. Um, no, I'd keep it. Um, it's not because it's a snow track either, or because it reminds me of Genshin. I see you in the comments. I see you. Um, I, I, I've, I've kind of changed my mind again. Uh, like it's, it's a decent track. Uh, I like the setting. I like the a different route. It's like, you know what? No, indifferent. Because some of the routes again are a bit kind of iffy. Don't really matter. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. I'll, um, I'll, I'll say indifferent. Uh, okay, Coin Heaven. Um, I don't even know. Um, man, oh man. Uh, Coin Heaven is an amazing track. Uh, it's, it drives really well. You have, like, the new Super Mario Bros. setting, and it's actually become one of my favorite CTs. Uh, I really enjoy Time Trials, I enjoy playing it, um, either in Frooms or, uh, Minicos or what have you. It's a very, very fun track, and, uh, I would 100% keep this. Color Circuit. Man, okay, so Color Circuit, uh, when it first came out, was one of my favorite tracks. It still is, actually. Um, because, like, I love the neon, not neon, but like, I love the cell shaded setting, um, but, like, I don't know. It's actually, it's very short, but that's not a criticism either, because, like, the fact that it's so short is kind of like a little bite-sized chunk of, uh, of, kind of what you kind of expect with it. I, re I really like how short it is. I like the little shortcut at the end with the little, kind of, grassy block. Um, there is a little ramp off to the side which you could take for a box, so there is, even though the route's kind of pointless, it's not at the same time, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I, I would 100% keep it. It's it's very, very fun as well. Color Wonderland. <sighs> right. Um, oh, I, I don't even know. I mean, like, I think this is... I think this is another uh, down for Spike Kid. Like, it's... I feel like the track itself um, isn't fun. There's lots of blind corners. Some of the jumps feel really awkward. Uh, it shouldn't be three laps at all. It feels a bit too long to be three laps. Um, I was relieved when it got removed, and then I was a bit disheartened when it got added back in, when it still had... Yeah, it had a, bit, a little bit of a visual overhaul, and it does look really pretty. Um, but at the same time, it didn't really address any of the issues from the older version. And I would honestly remove it. Like, it's, it looks pretty, but, you know, looks only get you so far. It has to drive well. I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think it it drives very well. Uh, Comet Starway. This one, admittedly, I do like quite a lot. I like the vi I like the visuals. I like the starry floor. Like, the kind of animation with that. That's always, that's always been sweet. Um, I think in terms of old custom tracks, this is one of the best ones, uh, personally. I love how every kind of section feels different. I like the use of the Rainbow Road kind of floor as well to create little kind of low trick ramps. Um, some of the turns might be a little bit awkward and there's like little kind of low trick kind of ramps which don't low trick you and are a bit, you know, pointless, kind of stops the flow of the race. But uh, yeah, I I'm not going to say keep it, um, but it's definitely the, the best, or one of the best old CTs out there in my opinion. I I'm indifferent as to whether it's in or, in or out, but... Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I, I like it. I like just kind of messing around in it sometimes. Concord Town, okay. Um, this one's iconic. This one I remember uh, seeing Troy play in his uh, Road to Nine series. And uh, just kind of being like, yeah, this is fantastic. I, I want a piece of this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's basically alternate Delfino Square. That's literally what the track is. Um, like if you kind of take elements of Delfino Square, reverse them, you've, you've got Concord Town. Oh, and add a Sunset setting, I forgot about that. Um, it's still fun to drive, uh, even all these, even like all these years later. I, I would keep this one, actually. This one, this one's pretty good. Crystal Dungeon, right. Um, the shortcut at the beginning is cool, even if it is actually very hard to do. Um, some of the straightaways feel a bit pointless. Um, the mushroom section at the end's a little bit janky, um, but, like, it mostly drives fine. Um, like, I like the giant piranha plant. I love the little crystal that can kind of stop you from taking a big corner cut. You can still kind of take it, uh, which I think is quite nice. Um, I mean, I don't particularly have any strong opinions on this one, to be honest. I mean, it, I, it's nostalgic for me. I remember playing it loads, but, uh, would I keep it necessarily? Not particularly. Would I want it removed? 
No, not really. Um, I'm just indifferent to it. Excuse me. Uh, Crystal Plains. This one, again, nostalgic. Um, but again, it looks very, very nice. Um, there is a, a ridiculous shortcut you can do uh, near the end. It's like you're at the bridge near the end and you just skip the entire kind of u turny section by going through um, like a bunch of hay. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool shortcut you can do. I've only made it once and on the Phantom. <laughs> I think I did that in Phantom Road to Nine. It's one of the most recent ones uh, that I did. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a very, very cool track. Love the setting. Um, would like to see more crystals. I, think there are, I don't think there are enough kind of crystals to justify calling it Crystal Plains. But uh, the Plains part, I really like. I like the, the big wind bar, the kind of huts that you kind of go around as well. I'd keep it. It's a, it's a cool one. Blizzard Bluff. Okay, this is another... I think this might be the first track from another game that's not Mario Kart. Um, Blizzard Bluff... Do I have strong opinions on the uh, Crash Team Racing tracks? No, because I haven't played the Crash Team Racing games. The custom track, though, I think is actually pretty decent. Um, there's... Parts of the turns... Some turns are a little bit misleading. Like, there's one shortcut which you think is a shortcut and it's not. Um, one of the shortcuts is brutally hard to take. Um, some of the snow is, like really really hard off-road um some of the turns are a little bit wacky as well um again i'm indifferent to whether this one's in or out um it's just kind of like yeah it's just around there are probably other ctr tracks that are better than this uh, like i've seen hot air skyway and ruse tubes as well they're both look really good i've played both of them they're both very good um but yeah i don't know blizzard bluff is just kind of around for me Right, Cortex Castle. Um, this one I remember playing a while ago. Um, I think out of the three CTR tracks, this one's the best one still. Um, it's quite long. I don't think it should be three laps. Um, but like the shortcuts are really cool. The, uh, the setting's great. I love tracks with rain effects. That's always really sweet. Um, the spider thumps are a nice touch. The one thing I would change is the stupid spiral near the end. Uh, you have to take it in a very specific way if you don't want to crash into the... Uh, into the wall, so uh, if that's changed, like that's fine. I'd honestly keep Cortex Castle. I think that I think it's a, a fun track to play. Okay, Engine Labs. This is my least favorite out of the uh, out of the three. Um, I just don't think this one works in CTGP. I'm sorry. Like I think some of the turns are a bit too awkward. Um, I always get confused as to whether some parts of the floor are trickable and which ones aren't. Um, the, the boost ramp where you go into the tunnel gives me a, a headache sometimes. Um, not as bad as, like, old Dry Dry Desert did, but, like, it still gives me a little bit of a headache seeing all the kind of swirly colours and stuff. It's just, it's just a bit annoying, and a, it seems a little bit pointless. I can't blame that necessarily on the creator, though, because he's just doing a remake of, you know, the track itself. Uh, so he can't really change much about the original layout, per se. Um, but, I mean, I just don't think it works necessarily in CCTP. Uh, I don't I don't, honestly, I'd remove it. Um, it looks fine, um, but I think actually driving it, it's 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 a bit iffy. I think. Right, Daisy Hillside, aka I believe Daisy Hills from uh, from Mario Kart Seven. Uh, yeah, this, this is a nice one. This is a, a nice jaunt through uh, Daisy Hills. Looks pretty much exactly the same as it did before in the original. Um, the one thing I will say is that the shortcut at the end, uh, where you go down the, uh, the hill and then onto a kind of quantum glider cap pad, leads you to a cannon, uh, leaves you in grass. So it's kind of like, it's misleading. It's a two mushroom shortcut when it kind of, um, acts like a one mushroom cut, which is very, very weird. But other than that, I think it's actually really fun. Um, I like how, depending on where you are in the cannon, it sends you to different parts. Like if you're in the, if you're on the far left, you go down to the main square. If you're on the right, you go to the roofs. I think that's really cool. I would I would keep it. Daisy's Palace. Um, honestly, I'm just indifferent to it. I, I don't particularly care about this one. Like, I think there are some turns which are a bit odd. Like, the main spiral is really weird. And it, it exits at a point where you don't really expect it to exit. Um, I think that the shortcut would be cool if it wasn't like a box. Uh, that you just drive into and through. I think, um, yeah, I don't know. It's very, very weird. Um, I would, yeah, again, I'd honestly just, um, uh, I'd just remove it. Or, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm indifferent to it, to be honest. It's not like, um, it's a, it's a decent track. There are bits that I like. Um, like, parts of it, like, when it, when it does well, it does really well in terms of drivability. But it's just kind of like, 
it, it, there's not enough in it that kind of makes me go, yeah, that should stay. So I'm just indifferent to it. Dark Matter Fortress. This, on the other hand, uh, from Mario Galaxy, I adore this track. I adore like tracks from Mario Galaxy. Like Mario Galaxy inspired tracks are a, a key to my heart. Um, I think that Dark Matter Fortress is a very, very good recreation of, Dar of Bowser's Dark Matter plot uh, from the original game. Um, it's it's very cool. The, the shortcut at the start is like, you know, should be hard to take, and it is. It's very challenging. Um, parts of the I, every part of the track feels unique and cool. You can do some really cool corner cuts as well near the end. The last straightaway is a little bit kind of odd. Like there's a random chain shot there that doesn't really seem to do anything. Um, but I mean, I would honestly keep this one. I think it's a very very cool track. Dark Matter Shrine. Um, Dark Matter Shrine. Um, I mean, it's cool. Um, I like going into the various buildings. That's a cool little top twist in Rainbow Road that hasn't really been seen in any Rainbow Road custom track, actually. I haven't really seen any tracks that go into a building. Or kind of Rainbow Road inspired tracks go into a building. Um, some of the shortcuts feel a bit weird. Some of the ramps are sending way too high. Um, but I mean, I think that the actual track itself is really fun. Drives well most of the time. Uh, and yeah, it's it looks really, really nice, so I'd keep it. Dawn Township. Okay, this is one of my favorite CTs. Um, like, Dawn Township is a track that... It's a very, very good one, that track. It feels beautiful. Um, there are a couple of straightaways which, again, feel a bit pointless. Um, there's, like, random chomps that come round as well that hit you. Uh, the last section feels, like, a bit cheap with all the, uh... Like, if you just kind of ramp over the mountains, if you know where you're going, you'll pretty much win. Um, but I mean, the track itself is, like, it's short, it's to the point... And it doesn't overstate its welcome. And I think that, yeah, it's a very, very cool setting. Drives really well as well. There's no real point in the track where I feel like if I fall off, it's it's the track's fault. It's I feel like it's my fault. Uh, yeah, I'd keep it. Delfino Ivans, right. Um, remove it. I, I, I've I seen an updated version of this. I've seen an updated version of Delfino Ivans that plays so much better. I can't defend keeping this in CTGP. It plays horribly. Some of the ramps seem to send you high for no reason. High up for no reason. The shortcut only seems to work half the time uh, when you're trying to drift. I can do it consistently on outside drift, but inside drift is like near impossible to do because not it barely feels like there's enough uh, there's enough time to drift to get a mini turbo to make the cut. Um, it shouldn't be three laps. It's way too long. Um, since everyone kind of takes a shortcut, one of the routes is essentially random pointless. I don't like the random gaps on the floor. Um, there's a lot I don't like about the track. Um, I can't really, yeah, I can't really defend it being in CCGP. I, I'm sorry, I, I just can't. Um, Desert Castle Raceway. Um, this is an interesting one. It's two laps, which is something. Like, if it was three laps, I'd say, you know, bit it. But, um, yeah, I mean, the track's fine. Um... Is it still maybe a little bit too long for, despite the fact it's two laps? Maybe. Um, but I like what they did with an update uh, before, where you know they actually added a little extra section. Um, some of the ramps don't send you anywhere near as high, apart from that last ramp, which is always really, really aggravating to uh, take. But I mean, hey, other than that, it's um, it's good. Um, other than that, it's uh, it yeah. Other than that, I think it's quite a good track. Um, I would say I'll, is it, I'm indifferent to it being removed because it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't affect me either way. Um, but I mean, you know, there are there are other tracks that I feel like could, you know, could get in there instead. Uh, right, Desert Fort. This one's very cool. In terms of exploration, this track is amazing. Um, it's like this one I think is a lot better than Half of China is um, because basically um, the with Half of China you kind of get lost regardless. Like, the exploration, I feel like, is part of the track. And it kind of disrupts the flow of the race. Um, whereas Desert Fort, um, you, you can explore the track, but only if you go looking for it. The racing is not affected by any means. Uh, which I think is fantastic. And the track drives really well. There's loads of shortcuts which feel like they mean something. Yeah, I'd keep it. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, really good track. Desert Mushroom Ruins. Oh, God. Um, Desert Ruins. What about Desert Ruins? I have... I have no idea, to be honest with you. 
Um, it's such a weird track to rank because um, there are bits that I like. I like the little Oasis section. Uh, the starting section is... Well, actually, the starting section is a little bit jank. I think the Oasis section might actually be the last only part I like. Actually, no. They changed the Mushroom section so it feels more fair. Um, I don't like how the sh main shortcut um, is only available for like two laps and then it just goes. Uh, especially, it, it, it turns to a front running track where basically you can't catch up. Uh, which feels a bit unfair. There's, there's barely any shortcuts other than that that can really kind of like catch you up. And it's so significant. Um, I think with Desert Mushroom Ruins, again, it's a cool concept and there are bits that I like. But I think, honestly, there are... There are more negatives than positives, I think, for this track for me, so I'd say remove it. Desktop Dash. Um, I love the concept of it. Uh, Desktop Dash is, like, really, really good. Um, I think I love the, the setting of, like, driving around batteries and Wiimotes and a Wii. Seeing Mario Kart Wii on a little TV screen. Uh, just driving on, like, the 3DS as well. That's a really cool touch. Um, I don't know why there are random cars in the middle of the map. That's a bit weird, unless you make the argument of toy cars, which... Okay, fine. Um, I think they made the shortcut worse, though. Um, I mean, the shortcut um, isn't anywhere near as good or valuable as it used to be, uh, which I think is a little bit annoying. I think they nerfed it a bit too much there. Especially when, if you try and take it, most likely things will just crash into a wall, and it's really annoying. Um, I mean, other than that, I think it's actually quite a good track. Maybe a couple of blind turns, maybe a little bit more signposting would be nice, especially... When you're going up the ruler, uh, if you don't know where you're going, you're just going to fall off, and it's really irritating. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, I'd say keep it. Um, I think it's pretty good. DK Ruins, right. So I know ZPL has made a version of this that has been submitted, and I think it's probably going to get in. Uh, so it's, it's pretty much like an automatic removal. So I'm very confident of it being um, removed. It's not that there's anything wrong with the track. Like, the track itself works fine. Um, it's just that some of the... I think the three main ramps that use the temple are a little bit awkward. Um, there's like no... Anim there's like barely any animation apart from the tiki's moving back and forth. Uh, I like animation in my tracks, and DK Ruins just doesn't really have any. I mean, it, it's a it's a, it's a a decent retro track. It's DK Jungle from Mario Kart 7. Um, but like, yeah, I'm not... It, it, I'm, I'm pretty confident it's getting replaced. So, um, yeah, I think... Um, you know, I think it's probably going to be removed, so I'll, I'm not going to say keep it or indifferent. Just remove it. Um, Dragon Burial Grounds. This is a really, really cool track. I made a mistake with um, in one of my ranking videos. I think that the top uh, the top C CCP custom, new custom tracks of 2021. I made a mistake on that because I said Melting, uh, sorry, Magmatic Sanctuary was the best lava track of all time. I completely forgot Dragon Burial Grounds existed. This is the best lava CT I think of, like... 13 CCTP right now. Um, it's very, very good. Very creative. The Dragon Skull is great. Uh, going to the castle is awesome. Um, the one shortcut is a little bit awkward to take. I don't think the shortcut at the near the beginning is like much faster. Um, the track is a thrill ride from start to finish, I think. It drives really nicely. The setting very cool. And it's very, very unique and creative. Um, I'll, I'll keep it for sure. Dragonite's Island. Okay, this is a very cool one as well. Uh, Dragonite's Island is a track that I think... Um, I don't even know. I think Dragonite's Island is a track that has a lot of like potential in terms of the different routes and stuff. Um, like seeing all the different Pokemon, like Eevee and... Uh, not Quagsire, I'm thinking Mero. Um, Gyarados, um, Squirtle as well. Like It's all really cute. Gengar firing massive like fireballs at you. Uh, Geodude's walking around. I like the use of the Snorlax as well as a shortcut. If you have a star or a Mega Mushroom, you can just blitz through them to take a shortcut. That's really cool. Um, I don't really actually have many complaints on it. I mean, maybe the shortcut is a little bit jank. It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. That's one of the very specific part of the track. And more than likely, more likely than not, you'll fall off. and You'll waste a lot of time. Um, and it's also like a very hidden too much of short. Because when you're up there, if you make it up to the kind of rocky section... That's off for my friend. You need a second mushroom. But other than that, I think, yeah, keep it. It's a very, very good track. Very creative. Dream World Cloud Wave. Right. Um, this track, it, first off, it's way too long. That's one of the main criticisms. Secondly, um, it doesn't really feel like... I guess it's a dream, so I can't really make my, my second point. I was going to say that parts of the track feel kind of 
you know, disjointed and a bit random. But, like, it's a dream, I suppose. So, I mean, dreams can be disjointed and random, I suppose. Um, it just doesn't drive all that great. It drives okay in some sections, but some other sections are really weird, like the mushroom bits to start. Um, I don't like the the green spinny things that shrink you, like in Cooper Cape. They're all in such close proximity, and there's a chain chomp running around after you. That's really frustrating to drive through. Um, and I also just don't find it that fun. It's very, it's creative, but I just, I just don't find it that fun, to be honest. I'll, uh, I'll just remove it, I think. Yeah, remove it. Okay, we move on to the DS track now. DS Airship Fortress, first off. Uh, this is one of my favourite Mario Kart DS tracks. Um, and this one, again, has a special place in my heart, because I got the Airship Fortress Phantom World Record twice, uh, on this track. Uh, yeah, I, I love this track. It feels very close to the original. It's a bit of a pain uh, trying to take any shortcuts on uh, like any outside tracking vehicle. Well, not shortcuts, but it's one turn, which you can make fine on like any inside drifting vehicle. But on outside drifting vehicle, when you're going into the ship for the first time and making that big corner before the lava pillars, that's really painful. And the spiral could be a challenge as well. But other than that, like yeah, I'll, I'd keep it. DS Bowser's Castle. I have no issues with this track at all. This is a very, very good remake of DS Bowser's Castle. Um, I do appreciate the fact they changed, in one of the updates, like ages ago, they changed the updates to fireball spinning round to lava pillars as we back and forth. I think, even though the spiral section is still a bit annoying, it's a much better change and it could be a hell of a lot worse, trust me. I, I experienced it. Um, yeah, immediate keeping that. It's, it's very, very cool. Cheap Cheap Beach. I love the nighttime theme. I was really worried when this track first came out because like, I was thinking, I don't like it when tracks are kind of recreated and they don't feel like anything like the original. Um, but I mean, Cheap Cheap Beach, it, it just changes from daytime to nighttime and it looks amazing. It's like you're on holiday going through Cheap Cheap Beach. So yeah, keep it. It's very, very beautiful. Uh, DSDK Pass. Um, I think the track drives fine. I mean, maybe it's a little bit slippery going up the mountain, but I mean, it's not like so slippery that I feel like I'm losing control half the time, like on some tracks. Like, I, I forgot to mention that about Desert, um, Desert Mushroom, whatever it was called. Um, but like, that track feels very slight to the point where I'm losing control of my vehicle. DSDK Pass doesn't really feel like that at all. And again, I know ZPL has made a better version of this. I don't think he submitted it. So, I honestly keep this. It's a, it's a very, very good track. GS Figure 8 Circuit. There's not much you can say about Figure 8 Circuit. It's very basic, but in my opinion, I think you need basic tracks for beginners of uh, Mario Kart Wii CTP. You just been kind of like, get used to the get used to the game. And hey, if they want to play retro tracks, Figure 8 Circuit is the bad one place to start. I'll keep it. Luigi's Mansion. I'm going to rattle through the DS, the DS tracks. It's honestly like... Unless, like, something massive changes, like, I'd probably keep all of them. <laughs> I just want to give a quick point to, uh, the retros. Uh, yeah, DS Luigi's Mansion, I think, is a very cool track. Based off the Mario Kart 7 version, I believe, with the little glider ramp. Um, the little kind of too much of a shortcut going through the gate is a very, is very cool. The moving trees back and forth, fantastic. Yeah, keep it immediately. DS Mario Circuit. This one, I think this is by ZPL, the one in CTP right now. This one actually had me torn. Because um, I liked the, I actually liked the version beforehand because there was like loads of animated signs and it felt kind of alive and vibrant. And ZPL changed that. He, I think he changed animations from one play to the other. Like he added some more kind of like animations of other places. But removing the, the animated signs for me was a little bit of a bummer. But the track still drives completely fine. Like it's a very nitpicky point. I would still keep it. Uh, DS Shroom Ridge. Okay. This one might be controversial. I know for a fact it will be, because I know a lot of people like this track, but I'm going to remove it, because Squire Turnbolt's version of Shroom Ridge is a thousand times better than this one. The Mario Kart 8 version of it is very cool, it has a shortcut at the end, it works, it functions really nicely, um, and yeah, it just, it just looks a lot better. I mean, like, there's nothing explicitly wrong with the uh, Shroom Ridge, like, that's in CTP right now, there's nothing explicitly wrong with it, but... It's just Squire's version so much better. Like, I, I would put that in instead of um, instead of keeping this one. Like it's it's really really good. So that's my opinion. Okay, DS TikTok Clock. Uh, yeah, I mean I haven't seen an updated version of TikTok Clock. 
at least one that surpasses it. If, if there's another version of TikTok Clock, let me know if like, it's better than the one in CCTP. Um, but yeah, uh, the track is pretty good. Uh, I, w I do wish there was a little more animation on the, the clock hands, because um, it just feels a little bit empty and a little bit lifeless. But I mean, other than that, I think, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good track. I'd keep it. Until there's a new, until there's a version that kind of fixes some of the other issues of the track. Out uh, of the animation and like, some parts feel a little bit awkward to drive. But other than that, like, until like, until that better version comes out, i keep it. Right, DS Waluigi Pinball. Okay, so I'll talk very briefly about this. There is a version by Gaming Brand, which is based on Mario Kart Tour. But when I drove it, it had lag problems. I don't know if that's been fixed, um, but it did have lag issues, so I'd still keep this version. I think the version in uh, CCP, uh, there are a couple times with a very awkward turnaround, but like, other than that, like, the track drive's great. The one thing I would change, actually, even more than the turns, are the pinballs, because the pinballs feel so random. It feels so weird, and the fact that there's like no sound effects to kind of show it like bumping off the, the little kind of... Um, I don't know what you'd call it, like the little bouncy things. Um, the fact that there's no sound effect when it bounces off them is really weird. And I think it would give um, players a little bit more kind of awareness that like it's bouncing off. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a bit weird. Uh, you have to memorize the pinball. But other than that, like I would I would 100% keep all the pinball. All right, last DS track, well, Warrior Stadium. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, uh, again, I've seen a Mario Kart 8 version of this. I can't remember who it's by off the top of my head, but I remember it being quite good. Um, the one problem I have is the anti-gravity section, but that's not, like, the guy's fault. Like, you know, how can you make that section drivable? It's really, really hard. Um, but yeah, this version of Warrior's Dead was really, really good. Based off the original, I absolutely love it. I love the original in, in uh, DS. Love the version in CCP. It's perfect. I'd keep it. Uh, Alright, and Venom Snowstorm. I remember when this track first came out, um, people were very excited for this one. Um, this came out during the 2nd December update of 2021, and in my opinion, that update is the best update in this game, so I started playing it. Uh, like, I didn't really find any criticism with the update itself. That being said, and Venom Snowstorm is a track that I don't really feel any strong feelings towards. Like, it's, it's, it was the... It was the worst one out of the five new tracks that we're getting in. But that's not to discredit Envenom Snowstorm, because Envenom Snowstorm's still really good. It's just I preferred the other four that were added in. Um, do I care particularly about it? No. I mean, like, I like the purple lava theme. That's really cool. Um, but it's just kind of... I don't know. There's nothing about that track that jumps out at me and goes, Yes, this is amazing. Uh, like, this should stay. So... I'm just indifferent to it. Like, you know, it's, there's not really much else I can say about it. Festival Town. Um, okay, Festival Town. Um, a little bit janky. Like, the, the last, the second to last turn when you go up that ramp is really awkward. Um, there are some, there's one blind turn, which like, if you're playing for the first time, you do not expect it. And it's really, really annoying. Um, other than that, like, the track's fine. Like, it's not bad. Um, but I wouldn't describe it as, like, great either. Um, I'm in the middle. Indifferent. Final Grounds. Right. Final Grounds, um, is a track that... It, it has been updated. Um, there's a little... I like what they did in terms of rewarding low tricks. You can go into another little section down below, which you can really only make if either you slow down, which if you're in the middle of the race, why would you do that? Or by low tricking, um like the last kind of ramp before getting to the big doors which is what a normal person would do <laughs> instead of slowing down um but yeah final grounds i think is fine uh there's one shortcut which is like really annoying it's so hard to pull off um the fact that it's two laps is like actually quite nice um again there are some bits where like the speed boosts don't really help you in terms of getting around the turns it feels like very kind of like too hectic um but honestly i'd keep it it's a challenging track that feels... I feel like it's kind of earned its spot. I think that... It, I, yeah, I think it should stay. It's a challenging track, uh, but not challenging for, like, all the wrong reasons. We'll get to one of those tracks later. Um, Fishton Island. Great exploration track. Another one of those tracks where, you know, you don't really uh, explore... You don't really explore the track unless you actively go hunting for it. Um... 
I'm just indifferent to it again. Like, I like the setting. I like the little harbour with little speedboats. Um, but just other parts of it feel a bit boring to me. Like, there are just some straightaways which just kind of feel like they're a bit like, okay, but is there anything else in this? Like, I don't know. Um, I'm just indifferent to it. I'd like it to stay, but I'm, if I'm being completely honest, I'm just kind of like, I'm indifferent to whether it stays, guys. Excuse me, flowery greenhouse. Um, interesting. Interesting. I mean, everyone takes a shortcut at the beginning which makes the main leaf fruit pointless. But it's a shame, because the leaf fruit's actually very cool. It reminds me of um, the first board in um, Mario Party DS, where you kind of go down the little kind of like leafy route there, which may have kind of inspired that. I'm not honestly sure. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it's way too long. It shouldn't be three laps. Um, some of the routes are completely pointless. Um, but like, I, what I will say is the last section, in the, when you're going through the mud, it's pretty cool, like, going off the little zipper ramps and, like, kind of cutting through corners. That's pretty cool. So that kind of saves it from the removal category. But I, I'm still indifferent as to whether it goes or not. Flying Kingdom. Okay, this this is a a hard another hard track that I like quite a lot. Uh, like, the track itself is... Again, it's like Final Grounds. It's a hard track, but I feel like it's kind of earned its spot. It's two laps, which is perfectly reasonable. The turns are challenging, but, like, I think fair. Apart from maybe one section um, where, like, it goes in a weird, like, diagonal path, but it doesn't really kind of seem like it's going in a diagonal path. Uh, it's, it's very, very odd. Um, but, I mean, again, like, most of the turns are fine. There's one shortcut which is very hard to make and actually a bit pointless near the end. Uh, but other than that, I'd honestly keep it. Like, it's not a bad track by any means. It drives, mo it drives pretty well. Um, and, it, again, it looks really nice as well. It's a, it's a track that plays well and it complements it with great driving. So, yeah, I'm a fan of it. Forest Creek. Maybe a little bit dull, um, but I mean, it, it does try to do things that are a bit interesting, like having low trip logs, uh, a little kind of uh, grass shortcut, like across the straightaway, uh, Wiggler walking around. Um, the only main criticism I'd have is really kind of the last section where, like, again, there's nothing really interesting. It's a straightaway under a bridge, and then you go up a bit of a curb, and that's kind of it. Uh, there's nothing kind of special. There's nothing kind of like special that they kind of just go, yeah, that's amazing. Having said that, it does drive very, very well, and it looks pretty nice as well, so I, I'd honestly keep this. And it's a simple track as well, it's not like a, a really hard, brutal track. Not every track in CCP has to be challenging. It's like Figure 8 Circuit. You need basic tracks to kind of, like, help people who are new to CCP get to grips with it, instead of just kind of throwing them into, like, Flying Kingdom, or Final Grounds, or Mushroom Peas, we'll get to that in a, in a little bit. Fungal Jungle. Uh, this, I believe, is based off Mario Party. If it's not, I'd be very surprised. Um, this is a very, very beautiful track. Um, it feels really cool. Like um, There's some pretty nice shortcuts you can do. The fact that there's like, different toad houses everywhere and waterfalls uh, and the night sky as well. Like Everything feels unique and cool. Everything feels fresh uh, when you're driving it. Uh, so yeah, I'd keep it. It's a very, very beautiful track and it drives really nicely. Garden of Dreams. I'll be honest, I keep forgetting this track exists in CCTV. I always forget that it does. Which is a shame, because it's really beautiful. It's such a nice looking track. But it's just so forgettable. And I can't really put my finger as to why. In terms of track criticisms, like the only main one I really have is like the main kind of loop-de-loop, -loop, the big circle at the beginning. There's literally no point in taking it. Like, why have the circle if you're only going to put it, like, one way? Um, I think uh, just removing the circle or, uh, like, um, making, like, the little roundabout more intricate to the track. Just say if you if you change the track design a little bit. So instead of just turning right straight away, you go straight on. I think that would be a little bit better. Um, I'm honestly indifferent as to whether it gets removed or not. It's a shame because, again, it's such a nice track and it drives fine. But it's just something about it that makes you keep forgetting it. I'm not sure why. Okay. This will probably be a, a quick section as well. Uh, GBA Boo Lake. Keep it. Like, it's a very, very cool take on GBA Boo Lake. Now we just need Broken Pier to kind of complete the, the spooky collection from Super Circuit. Um, like, the shortcut, the little kind of gap jump, I think, is pretty hard. But it's like, it, it doesn't feel unfair. Uh, and yeah, it's a very, very cool take on Boo Lake. It, it's a track that still feels like Boo Lake, despite the fact that it doesn't look anything like Boo Lake anymore, so. GVA BC1, 
I have no issues with this. Uh, no issues with the track whatsoever. Three laps, it's simple. I believe it's based off the Mario Kart 7 version. Yeah, keep it. Nothing much I can say about it. Uh, BC2, um, I think it's based off the one in... Uh, well, it's not based off um, the one in Mario Kart DS. Because uh, that would have the little rainbow wraps. But um, yeah, I think it's actually, again, pretty good track. It's three laps. Um, and yeah, it plays really nicely. Uh, I'll keep it. It's, it's a very, very cool track. BC4. <sighs> See, this is the weird thing. I wouldn't remove BC4, but I would definitely update it. Because, I mean, in the screenshot there it says it's two laps. In CFGP it is not two laps. It is three laps, last I remember. Um, and it shouldn't be three laps. It should be two laps. Um, the track itself, I mean, like, again, once you've seen all the Bowser's Castles, it, like, I think BC1 and BC2, uh, and BC3 as well in Mario Kart Wii, they all work because, like, it doesn't overstay its welcome. I think BC4 overstays its welcome because it's too long. Um, I, th I like the Magic Troopers, like, around the, uh, like, around at the end. That's a cool touch. But, um, I think it's just a bit too long. I'm indifferent as to whether it'll be removed. I would say just update it, honestly. GBA Broken Fear. I'll keep it, because the track itself is great. But I think that the other versions I've played uh, are a lot better. There's a lot more animation going on. It's great. But this version is still really good as well. I, I love the shortcuts you can do. I love how the track looks. It, it looks... It has the little kind of flickering mountains. The spooky, scary mountains in the background. As it did in the original. It's fantastic. Cheap Cheap Island. Remove it. Because, once again, uh, Squire Turnbull's better, version is better. I know he made it with somebody else. I think... Did he make it with Kozakura? I can't remember. You have to, you have to forgive me. I, I honestly could not remember, um, like who made that track. Um, oh God, it's I'm, I'm struggling. Um, but the track itself is just kind of like, you know, it's just a bit, you know, it, it's too long. I, I appreciate how it's, you know, it takes it from like the original. Um, but like, yeah, I think that Squire's version is a lot better. It was Kozakura. I, I just looked it up now. It was Kozakura. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like, Kozakura and Squire's version is better. It's based on Tor. Um, this one's way too long. And again, some of the routes feel pointless. The shortcut is really weird to take. It's so slow. And, uh, yeah, I'd say remove it and replace it with Squire's and Kozakura's version. Uh, GBA Cheeseland. I don't explicitly have any problems with this one. The off-road cuts are very broken. I haven't seen a version of this that I kind of prefer. Um, I'm indifferent as to whether this gets removed or not. Because whether this version stays or the Mario Kart 8 version gets in, I don't mind. Like, it's it's, it's fine. Lakeside Park. This one, uh, I'd keep. I think the track is a lot of fun to play. Um, all the sh it, it drives really nicely. All the shortcuts are pretty cool. The one shortcut at the end is a bit broken. Um, especially on 200, we can just take it shroomless without caring the world. <laughs> Um, but I think, you know what, the track itself is fun, and, uh, I can, I can respect that. It's a, it's a good track. GBA Luigi Circuit. A lot of people don't like GBA Luigi Circuit, so I don't know if I'm in the minority, but I actually really like Luigi Circuit. I think it's a very fun track, and, uh, I think it, I think it completely works in Mario Kart Wii. Um, like, yeah, I'd keep it. Uh, the oil slip kind of puddles a, you know, keep you on your toes. Again, rainy tracks are fantastic, the Luigi blimp flooding across the background. Love it. Very, very cool track. GBA Mario Circuit. This is the version based on Mario Kart 8, and uh, that version is really cool. Um, I like how they still have the little um, like upwards like curve, um, but it's nowhere near places. It's placed nowhere near as high because again, it's not anti gravity. That's not a thing in Mario Kart Wii. Uh, yeah, short to the point. Uh, pretty much near enough exactly like the um, the 8, 8 slash 8 deluxe version is. Yeah, keep it. Excuse me. Uh, Peach Circuit. Bit drab. To be a bit boring, although it is the first track in um, in Super Circuit, so I mean, I it can't really help it, I suppose. Um, honestly, I'd keep it because again, same points I made about Figure Eight Circuit, uh, for example. Uh, you need those kind of simpler tracks, so yeah, I'd keep it. GBA Rainbow Road. Okay, I've seen Squire's version of this one as well. Um, oh man, I mean, like I think Squire's version looks a lot better than this because like there's so much going on animation-wise. 
but there's nothing wrong with the current GBA Rainbow Road. Like, GBA Rainbow Road itself is still, like, really, really good. Um, it looks similar to the original. It drives perfectly. There's been some changes made to kind of fit better than Mario Kart Wii. Some of the ramps don't send you anywhere near as high anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. I think they made some sections wider as well, so it's not just, like, you know, a really thin piece of road, say, when you're going on the shortcut. The shortcut does make the... The main route a little bit pointless. I kind of want to see the shortcut maybe a little bit harder to make. Uh, if you have a mushroom, maybe you could make it instead of just kind of going up a little ramp and then boom, you're done. Um, but yeah, I would keep it. It's very good. Ribbon Road. Okay, I would say remove this one because again, I've seen a much better version of Ribbon Road based off Mario Kart 8. It's just Ribbon Road. I like the the theming because it like the theme is I believe in uh like new, the new Super Mario Bros games uh when like Peach opens a you know, gift in the opening cutscene and uh that's when Bowser and the Koopa is gonna kidnap Peach for the upteenth time um but I think that yeah there are some issues there are some really weird out of bounds uh areas that aren't really addressed um it's just a bit boring yeah um I'd remove it and replace it with the 8 Deluxe version personally Riverside Park okay this one, I think, needs an update, just to make that last turn... Like, can someone please make that last turn a lot better? I know, um... I know ZPL's done it. Again, I don't know if he submitted it to CCGP. But he made that last turn a bit more bearable, it looked like. On an outside drifting vehicle, even on an inside drift, it's a little bit difficult to make. It's really brutal. It's way too tight. And, uh... I mean, I'm indifferent to it, but I mean, if ZPL submits his version of it to CCGP... Get rid of this version and put in ZPL's version, because, like, his version, I think, is a lot better. It, it, again, nothing is necessarily wrong with this one apart from that. It's just that, uh, like, it drive, this version drives really well. Apart from, oh, one of the shortcuts doesn't work properly either. At least it feels like it doesn't. Um, but yeah, ZPL's version, I think, is a lot better. GBA Sky Garden, immediately keeping that. Like, Sky Garden is such a fun track. Like, it's, it's just so nice to, to drive GBA Sky Garden. Um, like, I was really worried when it was getting updated because I thought it was going to... Uh, I've, I've played a version which is based on the tour version, and I'm not a huge fan of the tour version. It's okay, but it's not Sky Garden. And then when it was just, like, the graphics touched up, and, like, it was made a little bit better in terms of, like, it was more kind of Mario Kart Wii friend, and I was like, yes, this is fantastic. So, yeah, immediately keep that. GBA Snowland, I mean, keep it. I mean, what can you say about GBA Snowland that hasn't already been said? The track looks fantastic. It drives great. All the shortcuts make sense. It's just a fantastic track. Can't say anything more about it. Really, really good update. Sunset Wilds. <sighs> Honestly, I'm indifferent towards it. I think that the TPs are a bit of a nuisance. Um, the track itself, a lot of the track is a bit boring. And the main shortcut at the end is like a little bit broken. And again, anyone can take it. I think that um, if they replace this version with Flint's version that I have in my former Can't We Track Pack, it's so much better. It looks really nice as well. Um, like, the only problem with Flint's version is, like, the massive kind of U-turn at the end. But, like, it's not even massive. It's, just, it's like, 270 degrees. It's a very sharp turn. Um, but other than that, that version, I think, is better than this one. I mean, different to it being removed, though. Because I think the track itself is fine. It's just I think there are better versions out there. GameCube ones now. Baby Park. This is going to be controversial, I know. But I'd keep it. It's, it's chaotic, it's fun, it's, I think it's fun on every mode, maybe not 200cc, but Ice and Rain is like, it's absolute chaos. Um, feels like the original, yeah, like, I have no problems with Baby Park. I know people don't like Baby Park that much, I don't really understand why, um, but other than the fact that, like, it's too simple. But again, you need simple tracks, I'm gonna keep mentioning that in the video, you need simple tracks, uh, in Mario Kart games. Um, but yeah, I think Baby Park... I think Baby Park is fun. It's, it's fun, it's chaotic, and that's the point. GTA Bowser's Castle. Yeah, I love GTA Bowser's Castle. Some of the turns are still a bit iffy, um, but again, I don't think you can really control that if you want to keep it similar to the original. They've made it better, and I remember in the, one of the up, recent updates, the fact that they had the, um, uh, the big kind of, the Bowser kind of moving side by side, that was really cool. That actually blew me away when I first saw it, so yeah. Keep GC and Bowser's Castle. That's a that's a fantastic get. GC and Daisy Cruiser. Um, I have a nostalgia for this one. I think it's fine. Like the only bit I have a problem with is the fact that a the main like when he falls down into the underwater area, it's a, it's a little bit pointless. 
Um, it's, it's much, much slower. And you kind of, when you drive down, you hit a wall, so you kind of come to a complete stop, which just loses even more time. Um, and like a couple of the other turns are a little bit awkward as well. But other than that, it's Daisy Cruiser. Uh, I love Daisy Cruiser. I'll, I'd keep it. GTM Drive Drive Desert. This is ZPL's version. The only part I don't like is a very nitpicky point. Um, but I think that uh, ZPL's version... I just wish the cartoony style came back. Man. I wish it came back. Um, other than that, I like the, the Mario Kart 8 styling. I like the Oasis, how that's been made a little bit better. Um, it's made a little bit more easy to drive instead of super slidey. ZPL got rid of the stupid, annoying, like, um, kind of thump in the middle, or like, bomb effect, where if a bomb or a thump explodes or whatever, uh, or like, the thump crashes down, the screen just massively shakes, and I know people didn't like that, because it just gave them headaches, it gave me a headache as well. So, I'd keep it, but I just wish the, the old cartoony style came back. Like, where are the, the pyramids with the eyes, and the trees with the eyes on them? They, they were adorable. GC and Luigi Circuit. Simple track, have no issue with it. Pretty cool concept for a track. Uh, even the original looks pretty cool. You drive, you you drive straight through, and then as other people are kind of finishing or like coming through, you're driving back up. Love that idea. Very cool track. Keep it. Mushroom Bridge. Um, Mushroom Bridge is an interesting one. <sighs> I think it should stay, but there are definitely some issues. Like, for one, you just, if you're in first, you just get a box straight away. Secondly, the Wiggler cars are, like, really overly annoying. Um, thirdly, the, the, main, like, the pipe through around the side's a bit pointless. Like, you, can, you can take it, but, like, there's no point in taking it. Um, and, yeah, I mean, like, the track itself, uh, you can drive on. I think there are a bit too many cars. I think maybe you remove a couple of the cars, and then, honestly, the track would be a lot better. But, I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd honestly keep it. Mushroom City. The, Mushroom City I really like in the original. Mushroom City is like very, very good. Um, I honestly keep it as well. I like the nighttime setting. It, doesn't, it still feels kind of chaotic. Again, maybe remove a couple of the cars and it'll be fine. Um, having bomb cars also spawn right in front of you without you seeing them and then running to them again is always very annoying. But I don't necessarily think that's the track creator's fault. I think that's just, you know, that's just how the original worked. Uh, so yeah, Mushroom City uh, I would keep. But maybe update it or leave a little, a couple of the cars. That would be really nice. Um, okay, GCN Rainbow Road. Very long. Uh, it's very good. I, I love the animation to the track. It feels like original GCN Rainbow Road. But it shouldn't be three laps. It should be two laps only. Um, I like the zip arounds added to make it like more friendly for uh, outside drifting bikes. But I mean, yeah, but it's still way too long. I'd keep it, but just... I I remo I uh, change it from three laps to two laps because again it's way too long. Uh, GCN Sherbetland, man. Okay, Sherbetland. Uh, I think it's a very nice track. It's a very pleasant track. Uh, yeah, I mean like, I I kind of hope that a version of Mario Kart 8 gets added in, but like I honestly keep this version because there's nothing wrong with the original. The freezies are a little bit annoying though. Anytime you run into a freezy, because that's like really slippery ice always really irritating but other than that i think the track itself is actually fine actually the shy guys is annoying as well because that's also really slippery ice if you can like tone down the slippery as the ice if not then maybe make find, try and find a way to make crashing into a shy guy or a freezy like much less irritating gcm warrior coliseum this is going to be controversial i like gcm warrior coliseum Maybe not necessarily how it drives in Mario Kart Wii. Like, some of the spirals just do not work. But I think with a few edits, like, you could definitely make Mario Coliseum much more Mario Kart Wii friendly. Um, I'd say keep it, because, like, it, again, it might be personal bias. It's one of my favorite tracks. But there are problems. Um, like, it's mostly just how some of the turns operate. Like, some of the turns are really hard to make. Um, but just editing a couple of those turns to be, like, a little bit wider, or, like, not as sharp. I think would be, I think it would make it a little bit better and like a lot more drivable for uh, for Mario Kart Wii in all honesty. GSN Yoshi Circuit. I like this version. Please keep this version um, because I'm not a huge fan personally of, um, of ZPL's version. Um, mostly because I feel like it looks a bit too realistic. I'm not entirely a fan of that art style. I like the cartoony art style of GSN Yoshi Circuit so yeah, honestly, I'd keep it. It's a very, very good track. The shortcuts are great. Uh, drives really nicely. It's just fantastic. It's a, it's a great track. 
Glimmer Express Trains. So back to the CTs. Um, you know what? Glimmer Express Trains used to be one of my favourite CTs, actually. Um, but it's not anymore, but it's still a lot of fun. It's two laps, still maybe a little bit long. But I think that, actually, um, it's definitely one of the more unique concepts I've seen. Like, on a moving train, everything's animated. The, tra the train tracks itself, as well as animated, it's fantastic. Going through the different rail cars, the kind of shortcuts you have to kind of search out to find. They all, like, work as well. They all make sense. It's, it's great. It's a really, really cool CT. I would honestly keep this one. Gothic Castle. This is, I think, one of my favourite spikes. It might be my favourite spiker track, actually. Um, I really like playing Gothic Castle. It, 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 again, there's just something about uh, Gothic Castle that makes me go like, oh yeah, this is just absolutely amazing. Um, like, Gothic Castle is a track uh, which, again, feels unique. You can never say uh, Spiker makes the same tracks twice. Like, he does some really, really uh, cool CTs, like, for his ideas. Um, yeah, I think that Gothic Castle itself is a very, very cool track. Um, do I think that it's the best track in the game? No. But I think, honestly, I'd keep this one. Uh, it drives really nicely, all the routes are pretty cool. And yeah, uh, I would honestly just keep this one. I think it's a very, very fun custom track that like I can drive on time trials and enjoy and online in frooms and enjoy. It's a great one. Okay, GP Mario Beach. Uh, another controversial one. It's very fast. It's the thing is, it's massively overscaled, so the um, so the speed mod is kind of required. Um, if you could downscale it, that would be very nice. I mean, this, yes, the speed mod's funny, but I mean, it does make it a lot harder to drive. I I just say I'm indifferent to it. I don't honestly, I don't honestly say I'm indifferent to it. I don't really mind if it stays, guys. Halogen Highway. Um, man, what about Halogen Highway? Um. Halogen Highway, I think, is a track that that looked really good before, um, like when it came out. But now I think it just looks a bit outdated and a bit kind of meh. Like it doesn't drive that great. It's way too long and it shouldn't be three laps. This is one of the, the worst offenders of a track being like it's over like four and a half minutes. It's ridiculously long, um, and you know it's just it's like between four and four and a half minutes. Um, it, that's like way too long for a, a Mario Kart track. Um, there are lots of straightaways which don't really seem to do very much. Some of the turns are a bit weird to make. And yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of it visually. So, um, I don't honestly just, I don't honestly remove this one. I'm not a huge fan of it. Haunted Gardens. It's basically Haunted Woods, but better. Um, uh, I loved this track when it first came out. I think it came out last year. Um, it's a, it's a very good update to, um, to Haunted, to Haunted Woods. It basically just completely changed it to be a hell of a lot better. Um, I kind of feel indifferent towards it. Like, at the end of the day, you know, it's still haunted kind of gardens slash woods. Uh, it's not like, you know, it, it's just kind of around now. Um, I'm honestly indifferent as to whether it gets removed or not. It's just kind of like, you know, eh, whatever. It's there. Headlong Skyway, remove it. It's way too old. It doesn't drive that well. Um, but at least it's like two laps. That's the saving grace of it. I like the star mini map as well, but it's just way, it's still way too long even for two laps. It looks outdated. It doesn't drive that well. Some of the ramps don't want necessarily hide into like a blank drop. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Headlong Skyway, so remove it. Helado Mountain. This one's an interesting one because Helado Mountain, I think, can actually be quite fun. Um, I think the update was they changed it from ice to fire. I think I'm remembering that correctly. Um, I seem to remember playing this and it was ice. But, um, I don't know. I think, again, I'm just kind of indifferent on Hollow Mountain. There's nothing especially wrong with it. it. It drives a lot better than I think how it used to. But, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of meh. I'm indifferent on it. I don't really, yeah, I'm not really a huge supporter of Hollow Mountain. There's nothing wrong with it necessarily either. Honeybee Hideout, right. Um... Yeah, I would keep this one. Um, it's, I think Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze inspired. Not Mario Galaxy, like people uh, misconceptualize it as. Um, yeah, it's very cool. There are some straightaways which feel like they do not much. Um, but I like the little honey obstacles, uh, the kind of honeybee kind of areas, little honeybee like little decorations as well. I think it's really cool. Uh, and yeah, it's just a very fun track to drive. Drives really nicely, looks really pretty. What more can you want? Ice Peak Mountain. Um, 
I, I know this one is iconic as well. It's it's quite an old one as well. I would say... Oh, do I want to remove it? I mean, there are some gameplay concerns. I don't like how, again, there's random ice blocks on the floor that you don't really see until you get in them. Um, I don't like the weird turn at the start. Uh, we're just going to have to turn... You have to take a hard left to start. That, I think, hasn't aged very well. Um, going up on... If you want to go up on the roofs, good luck. It's very hard to, like, stay up there when you're racing. So most likely they end up back down the main road if you're lucky, or you'll head off into the snow. Which is really annoying because it's really heavy snow. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I'd remove it. I uh, I think it's outdated and it needs to go. Incendia Castle, right. So we're, we're in the first of Beam's tracks now. Um, I will say remove this one. It's a cool concept. What I do like about the track is the fact that you take the different routes and the castle gets lower and lower and lower. That's really cool. Um, but at the same time, it's way too long. And the last section with the straight and ways and the weird and the kind of like 90 degree turns, they are just point it's pointless. They're pointless turns. And um, I would honestly just say, yeah, remove it. It's it's not my uh, it's not my all-time favourite, I'll I'll say that. Infernal Pipe God. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the pipe tracks, but like excuse me. Uh, Infernal Piper, there's another track which is very similar to this, which is kind of like, it's basically like, excuse me, it's basically the same thing, but like parts of it are mirrored and like the shortcuts have changed places. I, I, that's about it in terms of the differences. I mean, like, I don't like the pipe section when you bounce on them because like some of, you have to be in kind of like the right spot in order to kind of make it unscathed. Um, I don't like kind of going into the lava and not be able to see what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I'm honestly indifferent about it being removed or not, though. I don't really mind. Ice, ice, ice and fire lamps. Um, oh god! Again, another uh, fairly, another fairly tough one. Um, I'm just indifferent to it. Like I like the theme of the items around the track. Um, there's one turn which, like, it feels like you can take it really inside, but if you take it too early, you fall off, and like, it, it's a lot later than what you think it is. Um, I like the concept, but I just think execution is just a bit drab. I think it's a bit boring. GU Village. This one, I, I've changed opinions on a little bit. I've never disliked the track, but I've kind of, I kind of think there are some sections that are a little bit boring. I love driving through the main city. That's really cool. Um, it's just that, like, when it kind of takes like, the random turns, it's just kind of a bit like, you know, when it's taking like, the split paths, it's just kind of like, well, what's the point in some of these paths? Especially when a couple of them have been blocked off. Like, the main shortcut has been blocked off. That's probably fair because everyone took it. They made the like, GU made the main shortcut area, or the main area where you drive around, a lot more viable and a lot more usable. Um, yeah, I'd still keep actually. I think it's a pretty fun track, and it's a it's a very very good track uh, from GU. I, I like it. Jungle Cliff. This one feels old. It probably is really old. Um, I mean, it, it drives fine. Uh, the one problem I have is like near the very end where like you go, you kind of go down the mountain a little bit. And then you have to make a really sharp U-turn. And it's very hard to make it. There are a couple of turns which are very hard to make. And some of the shortcuts are a little bit broken as well. I don't like the random boxes that you can have to, like, if you bump into them, you just completely stop. Um, I'm indifferent as to whether this one gets removed. And there are bits I like and there are bits I don't like about it. It's just kind of in the middle for me. Jungle Glade. I think this one's Mario Galaxy inspired. I feel like it might be. Um, I, I'd keep it. I think most of the track is actually really fun. Um, like, the waterfall section is fine. The shortcut's great. It's hard, but if you make it, you pretty much, like, a set. Um, the beach section's a bit weird. Um, like, I'm not entirely sure why the beach, the waves rise so, <laughs> so far up. How does it feel like they do? Uh, the cannon is a weird, a little bit of a weird addition, but, I mean, I kind of get why. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's a good track overall. I, I for sure keep it. Jungle Jamble. Um, this is Monkey Ball inspired. I, I admittedly do like Jungle Jamble. I don't really want it to be removed. Um, it's very simple. It's to the point. Monkey Ball inspired. Drives really nicely. I would actually honestly keep this one. It's a, it's a CT which people can kind of play and go, yeah, like, I kind of get how this works now. So, uh, yeah, I, I like I like Jungle Jamble. I'll keep it. I like Monkey Ball inspired tracks as well. Don't judge me. Jungle Ruins. I think this one's had an update. I haven't seen the update yet, but like, if that's getting to CGP, I'd say remove this one. It look, it visually it looked outdated, and some of the like the last turn at the end is a bit awkward as well to make. 
Um, and there's a bit where you're first entering the ruins, which is really weird because there are like two random stone pillars in the way. Well, like two or three actually. Uh, I can't remember exactly how many there are. But it's very easy to bonk into them and lose so much time. So, yeah, I'd honestly say remove Jungle Ruins and replace it with the updated version. Kamex Library. This is a new one. This was only this was only added in February. Uh, yeah, Kamex Library is really, really fun. Um, like, the shortcuts are really cool. There's one ramp which sends you, like, stupidly high. Um, but other than that, like, the track itself is actually really good. I love the fact that Kamek has finally got, like, uh, a rep, a representation in, uh, in racing. Like, that's really, really cool. Especially because Kamek was meant to be in, I think, Mario Kart 60... Is it the 64 or, um, the original Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart? But he got replaced at the last moment, so, um... Yeah, nice to see he's got some representation in this game for once. Okay, uh, Carwood Creek. Um, just really, really, really boring. There's nothing interesting about it. It's a, it's a flat plain with dirt and grass. That's basically all there is to it. It's very, very dull. Um, I would just say remove it. It drives fine. It drives nicely. I like the little low trees you get off the, off the bridges. But um, yeah, it's just, I, in my opinion, it's just very, very, very boring. Tanoko Cave. Cowman really likes this track. I'm indifferent to it. I'm, I don't see what's so special about it. I'll be honest with you. It's a cave with mushrooms in it. Okay, cool. What else is there? Um, I, I do like the, the driving through the waterfall at the end. That's a nice little touch. Um, driving through the cave section is pretty fun as well. Um, but I mean, I, I wouldn't fight to keep it. I'm indifferent as to whether it goes or not. I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's, it's an odd one. I'm just kind of a bit like, yeah, towards it. Okay, Cuba Shell Pipe Land. Um, I think it's cool in concept. The only bits I think are actually quite unique and cool is when you're driving through the sewer. That's really cool. Uh, as soon as you hop out the sewer, it just kind of turns a bit boring. Um, like, I, I'm not really... I wasn't that interested in driving in the waterfall section. Like, down the water kind of river section, rather. Uh, I wasn't that interested in driving back to the start line. But then when I get back down the pipe, I'm like, okay, we're back all over again. It's great. Um, I'm indifferent, honestly. I'm just kind of like, eh, like, whatever. It's, 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 a, it's a good track, but I'm just kind of a bit like, yeah, meh, towards it. Lava Lake. People say this is like a really good track. I'm not going to say it's a really good track. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very good track, but I'm not going to say it's like one of the best in CCGP. I don't think it is at all. Um, like parts of it, again, just feel a bit boring. But I think the majority of Lava Lake is very fun and unique. Uh, and it gives very good races. It drives really nicely. Um, like, it looks pretty cool. Driving through the volcano and into the lava is a very nice touch. Um, the thwomp shortcut's pretty cool as well, if you can make it. Um, the fact you can drive around the side of the volcano as well, that's a really cool touch too. Uh, so yeah, I think that overall, I'd keep Lava Lake. But I think it is maybe a little bit overrated in my opinion. Lava Ride, remove it. Please remove it. Um, like, the the main road is camouflaged with the lava, and I can't see where I'm going. Um, I don't like the random kind of fire builds that pop back up. I, I think the section with the removed kind of, like, bouncy railing with bits in the floor is a bit weird. I don't like how much bounciness there is in the track as well, because I feel like it takes the flow away from the race, and it shouldn't be through laps. It's a bit long, because uh, considering you're kind of driving around what's essentially a lava track with bounciness in it, and it's just a bit like, that's all there is. Uh, I'd remove it personally. Um, I think the update didn't really change too much. It changed it changed it from being blue to red, um, but like, driving wise, it still feels the same. I don't, I don't have fun on Lava Road. Lost Fortress. Ah, oh, this is a really interesting one. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Because Lost Fortress, I think can actually be quite fun. Should it be three laps? I can't remember how long it is. I'll be honest with you. Um, but like, I think the track setting itself is fine. I like the dark red sky. I like the, the mushroom shortcuts you can do. Honestly, I'd be indifferent as to whether it gets removed or not. Um, but like, you know, I, I'm in the middle. There are bits I like and there are bits I don't like. I don't like some of the weird turns. I don't like how hard the, like, how hard the shortcut is where you only make it like one out of a hundred times. Uh, the massive drop at the end is a bit of a, a strange one. I'm not. I don't really like that feature either. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm in the middle on uh, Lost Fortress. Luigi's Island. This is an old ZPL one, I believe. Um, 
yeah, I actually like this one. Um, there's, I love the how the, the little kind of subtle hints, like you know the uh, the Luigi uh, kind of like theming everywhere. The Luigi, the Goombas wearing the Luigi hats kind of spun it for me. That's a really really cool addition. Uh, so yeah, honestly for that, I want to keep it. Um, at the same time, the shortcuts are like a bit too broken. There's like a couple of shortcuts you can just take which is stupidly broken. Um, I, I'm indifferent as to whether it's removed or not, but I kind of. I'm more leaning towards keeping it than not keeping it because, like, I think the Luigi's Island is actually very fun. The Lunar Lights. Again, kind of the same story as Lava Lake. People say this track is, like, one of the best in the CGP. It's not. I've seen other better rainbow tracks, uh, to be honest. But, um, like, Lava Lake. Sorry. Uh, Lunar Lights is still, like, really good. Um, I just think, again, it's overrated. I would keep it. But I think it's just a bit overrated. There's more tracks which are fun. At least it's a three lap of Rainbow Road inspired track that's short. I like that. Uh, I, I do like that about the track. Lunar Spaceway. <sighs> Remove it. Bin it. Um, very much outdated. Even the uh, the updates didn't really change too much to it. It's just kind of a bit drab and a bit boring. I do like the uh, Driving the City. Driving through the Alien City is a very, very cool touch. Um, but other than that, oh, and also drumming through the kind of slimy cave thing, that's really cool. But I mean, other than that, I'm just not a big fan of it. I just find driving with a space race such a slog and such a chore. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'd say remove it. Luncheon Tour. Love me a Mario Odyssey inspired track. This track is fantastic. It doesn't overstay its welcome. Looks kind of, it's kind of like low poly, but I really like the kind of styling because it looks really similar to how um, Luncheon Tour does in the original game. I like the boulders being uh, replaced with like fruit. <laughs> I think that's a really nice touch. Um, the shortcut at the end is like hard to do, but I think if you can pull it off, it's like it saves you a bit of time. And yeah, all the shortcuts kind of mean something. Um, like, oh, even on 150, like one of the, the shortcuts near, like, near the kind of like, the middle. If you go off the ramp and like turn right and go into like a little green bean and then go off. On 150, that's really hard to do, but on 200, it's like a dream. It's really, really good. So, I don't want to keep it. It's a good track. Magmatic Sanctuary. Um, even though I said uh, now that Dragon Barrel Grounds is like the best lava track in CXGP, this track is still pretty good as well. Um, but I don't have an issue with the, uh, the road. I know some people are saying that the road is, um, you know, the road's like a bit too dark. But I don't have that problem. I've never had that problem with uh, with tracks like Magmatic Sanctuary. Um, like I think the the road is fine. Like you can kind of see where the uh, the off road is because of the uh, the red lines that pop up like on the side when you get close to them, which I think is great. Um, it drives really nicely. Um, and yeah, I think there are probably a couple of changes I'd make. Like you know the the, be the beginning kind of circular turn is a bit much maybe. Um, I think the last section is a bit awkward as well with kind of like where it's going. But, um, but yeah, other than that, I think, um, it's a pretty cool, a pretty cool track. I'd keep it. Also, the shortcut is very, very good as well. Magic of Madness. Oh, God. This is, like, one of my worst enemies, this track. Cowan will hate me, but I'm, I'd say bitter. Like, it, it fixed a couple of issues, but it hadn't addressed some of the other points. Like, you know, the spikes at the beginning, the really weird kind of... Uh, like awkward turns. The last section with the swamps. The main colourful section that gives me a headache every time I look at it and drive on it. Um, it's not fun. It's n I don't think it's a very fun track. It hurts my eyes. It hurts my brain driving it. Uh, although it's called Match of the Madness. So I guess with that logic, it does its job. But I mean, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I like replacing the Wigglers with Penguins. I always love a Penguin. And uh, they did fix the, the really awkward bit uh, with like the falling, um, you know, the falling sections near the, before the stupid uh, colorful sprays away. They added like little, uh, like lava spinnies instead. But at the same time as well, there's a really annoying uh, part where it comes to that, where basically sometimes when you take the zipper ramp, it just sends you flying backwards. And I don't know why, it doesn't like attach the rope. Also, when they updated this, they found an infinite respawn glitch on the rainbow section. Which is really, that's not great. Uh, they fixed it, but I mean, it's not, I'd say just, I'd say it's just not worth the hassle. That's like, I, I'd just say remove it. It's, it's not fun, and it's, it's a very, very, yeah. I, I'm just not a huge fan of it. 
Marble Towers. This used to be my favourite track in CSGP. It used to be. I don't know what my favourite one actually would be. I'd, I'd have to think really hard about that one. Uh, but Marble Towers is a very, very good track. Um, I still think it's like a really fun today. I think it's really unique going up like a marble run. Um, like going down like, in, like where the presents are. I think it's a very, very cool track. It drives mostly really well as well. All the shortcuts are pretty cool as well. Uh, yeah, I'd keep it. It's a very, very good track. I really, really enjoy it. Mario Castle Raceway, okay, Mario Circuit from Mario Kart 7. This track's great. Like, this track is really, really fun. Um, there's a mushroom in it, which, like, you know, bounces you off. I think, that was in the, I think that was in the original as well. I like the ending shortcut as well, where you drive on the rail uh, to the kind of pipe tunnel. Uh, I think that's a really cool little touch. So, uh, yeah, I, I would keep this one as well. It's, it's a very, very good retro. Medieval Castle Grounds. I'm indifferent to this one, uh, if I'm being brutally honest. I just think this track is very, very, very boring. Uh, there's, again, there's nothing really here that makes me go, yeah, this track is, like, amazing. And it kind of grips me. There's just not much here. I like driving through the castle. That's really cool. When I'm outside the castle, I just don't feel anything. It just kind of feels dull. Uh, so I'm, I'm indifferent to whether this one stays or goes. It's a, it's a, it's a well-made track, but it's not, like... It's not gripping, if that makes any sense. Melody Sanctum. I'm indifferent as to this one goes, honestly. Although they did fix the problem which I had before this track, which is making it... They made it two laps instead of three, which is great. Um, the shortcuts are pretty cool. It drives mostly fine. It's just that there are a lot of straightaways in this one, and a lot of those straightaways were a bit boring. And when you've kind of seen Melody Sanctum about two or three times, you've seen everything to do with Melody Sanctum. So, uh, yeah. I'm indifferent as to whether it goes or not. Melting Magma Melee. Oh, gosh. Um, that's a really hard one. Um, because I don't actually mind Melting Magma Melee. Like, it doesn't drive that great, though. That's the thing. It looks really nice. It reminds me of Free Flame Galaxy from, uh, from Super Mario Galaxy. But uh, the way it drives, man, is so horrible. Like, it drives really badly. Um, there are some sections which, like, really, like, it's unnecessarily hard, I think. I'm indifferent as to whether it stays or goes. I like it now because I think I'm just used to it. But I'm also indifferent as to whether it goes or not. Mushroom Island. Uh, okay, Mushroom Island. Um, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the, the mushroomy bounces. Um, I feel like you use control them quite easily. The rest of the track actually drives fine. Um, what it used to be was, um, like, because in the current version, they make the rainbow bit by the side, like, you know, compulsory drive on. Whereas before, they had, like, another mushroom set which went further inside, which encouraged you, hey, you can bounce on more mushrooms and make it even more uncontrollable. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It looks really pretty, uh, and the rest of it, apart from the mushrooms, drives fine. It's just I don't really enjoy it that much. I'm honestly indifferent if it goes or not. Mushroom Peaks. Okay, here we go. Um... Man. So, what I would do is I would, because there's a new version of N64 Rainbow Road out, and we'll get to Rainbow Road later, I'm sure. Um, but there's a new version of Rainbow Road out, N64 Rainbow Road, I should say, which is based on the Mario Kart 8 version. So what I would do, personally, is take that version out of the hidden tracks, put that into the main CCP game, and put Mushroom Peaks in as a secret track. Because I don't think Mushroom Peaks has any business being in main CTGP. Like, I, I get the fact that it's the most popular pick track and yada yada yada. But, like, the main question you have to ask is, do people pick it because they think it's good? Or do people pick it because it's ironic and it's funny? If it's ironic and it's, like, funny, and they're picking it because it's, like, not that good, then, like, I don't think that's worth it being put in. Like, it's not even the fact that it looks outdated. Uh, the mushroom section is a complete nightmare. The respawn points are, like, brutally unfair. Um, you can't make some of the jumps when you're small. The last turn is a nightmare to make you even know what you're doing. Um, yeah. It's, it's just not fun to drive. I have a miserable time driving Mushroom Peaks. Apart from Phantom, where I can occasionally make the, the main area. Like, it's satisfying when you make the, um like the shortcut or not the shortcut well actually yeah it's satisfying when you make the main route and the shortcut but at the same time at like what cost you know like it's so it's so needlessly frustrating and I would honestly say if you're not going to um 
if you're not gonna make it a secret track, I would remove it. Mushroom Valley. Um, this one's never jumped. It hasn't jumped out to me, this one, either. Like, it looks really cool. I like the fact that it takes place in the sky. I like the kind of green kind of mist to it. Uh, the shortcut's really, really weird. It's just kind of, if you don't know... Like, I think Mushroom... Like, I know Mushroom Valley's an old CT. I've played the old CT. But if you haven't played the old CT, then, like, you know, at least not for a while, then you'll see, like, the mushrooms there at the side of the shortcut. And you'll just wonder what the hell they are. And you'll take them... And you'll just fall off. And it's just a bit pointless. So, I'm indifferent as to whether this one stays or goes. But it's definitely one of the better mushroom tracks in the game so far right, right now. Musical Cliff. There's two music tracks coming up. This is the first one. Uh, Musical Cliff is... I feel like it's made for me. There's a lot of really cool music-based stuff. The kind of music-based kind of fonts and the music-based kind of enemies. The kind of horn... Castles firing out music notes and firing like music fireballs to the uh, the floor. Uh, it's a very very cool music inspired track. Um, there again, there are a couple of straightaways which feel a little bit drab and boring, but at least the the fireballs kind of create like an uh, an element of surprise for the uh, the player. I think so. Yeah, I would keep this one. It's a very very cool theme. Uh, maybe just add a couple more things to make it a little bit more interesting uh, instead of just kind of driving random straightaways with not much going on in them. But other than that, I think the track is great. Okay, Musical Motorway, aka Melody Motorway from uh, Mario Kart 7. What do you even say? Keep it. It's an amazing track, an amazing version of Musical Motorway. Um, it doesn't feel the same without the, the piano uh, like kind of going up and down when you're driving over them. That's a really cool feature. Um, but yeah, the track itself drives really well, apart from when you go off the little drum set uh, before you make it to the glider section. If you trick off that, sometimes it's very hard to make that turn. Um, but other than that, really good version of, uh, of Musical Motorway. I'm, I'm a fan. Niswo Desert. Uh, okay, I was indifferent to this one when it got added in. Uh, I think in... Uh, I think it was in April, this one. I uh, got it. April 2022. Um... I haven't played it more now. I don't think it's worth being put in. I'd say remove it. There are some cool elements. I like the kind of Mario Kart 8 almost inspired kind of anti-gravity section. I think that's really cool. Um, and the shortcut at the end is pretty sweet, even if it is like brutal. It's like so unfair if you're like the magic cruise of the Phantom and you just kind of take stuff like that. It like eats shortcuts like that for breakfast. It's just like so easy for them. Um, but it feels like a really old CT that shouldn't really be in CTGP in 2022. Um, but it just it, it doesn't really feel like it. It drives fine, mostly. Um, but it just, again, it feels really boring, a bit drab, and a bit lifeless, in my opinion. Right. And, uh, the N64 tracks now. We're over halfway, for sure. I think we're about two-thirds of the way down my scroll bar, I see. Uh, I've been talking now for about... Uh, over an hour and a half now. God, this video's gonna be really long. <laughs> um, right. N64 tracks. Banshee Boardwalk. I know ZPL's made a better version of this. I don't know if it's in, if it's in just in Mario Kart 8 or if it's in Wii. I actually can't remember. I'd say keep it, because I'm obviously not sure. But like, NC, ZPL's N64 Banshee Boardwalk, or at least Mario Kart 8, looks incredible. He might have done it for Wii, I can't remember. Um, but Banshee Boardwalk, um, as it is now, really good. I really like it. But if ZPL's version has been made for Mario Kart Wii, you know, put it in. I'd say put it in. Choco Mountain. Yeah, like it. It's fine. Uh, like Choco Mountain, um, based on Mario Kart 8 version slash Mario Kart Tour. Really good stuff. Uh, love the way it looks. Love the way it plays. Yeah, it's just, it's just really, really fun. And it's really nice. So I keep it. Frappe Snowland. Yeah, the, the visual updates to this track it blew me away. Like, it was really, really good. Um, I remember looking at this for the first time just thinking, man, this is incredible. Uh, it's a snow track. I obviously love it because it's a snow track. Uh, yeah, I'd keep it. It's a, it's a very, very good track. Very good update. The snowmen aren't as annoying as they thought they would be. The section at the end is still a bit uh, drab and boring. It's just a straightaway full of ice. And like, there's nothing really interesting about that. But other than that, really, really good track. Love it. Calamari Desert. Um, okay, I think people... Okay, as I say people. A certain person will not be happy with me. Uh, for saying this. I really like Calamari Desert. I think it can stay. Um, Calamari Desert, I think it's just fun. Uh, yes, the shortcuts are a bit broken. Yes, the trains can be a bit annoying. 
But I think the track itself is fine. I think it's fun, and again, it's a relatively simple track that people can look at and go, yeah, I can play. We can play this, and it'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, I think Calamari does just stay. Um, it would be really cool if you could do um, Calamari does number two from Tour. Although at the same time, uh, I don't think they are. I don't think CGP is allowed to do that, which is a shame because that would actually be a pretty cool concept for uh, a Calamari does update. Um, Cooper Trooper Beach. Uh, yeah, keep it. Like, it's a really, really good CT. Really good original track as well. I think one of my favourite tracks, if not my favourite track from um, Mario Kart 64, is a very, very good track. Uh, and yeah, I don't really have much else to say about it. Like, you know, I think Cooper Trooper Beach is one of those tracks which is self explanatory. It drives really, really nicely. The shortcut's hard to take on 150, like, and it feels like it's worth it if you take it. Uh, it doesn't give, like, so much of an advantage as it, as it does say on the N64 version. Because Mario Kart 64, if you take that shortcut, it's brutal, like, how efficient it is. Uh, it's based on the Mario Kart 7 version, as well, I've got to mention. And, uh, yeah, very good track. Don't have any complaints. N64 Luigi Raceway. Um, I'd honestly be indifferent if it, if it was to be removed, but, like, at the same time, it's the Luigi Raceway, so you can't really do too much to keep it interesting, I suppose. I mean, like, the version in it's really good. I think it's based off Mario Kart 7 as well, so, I mean, yeah, I can't complain. N64 Rainbow Road. This is what I was talking about before. So the current version in CCP is based on the original. Um, and like, that's fine. There's nothing explicitly wrong with that. But I'd still say remove it because um, the version I've seen is so much better than, uh, than this current one. And the chomps can be very, very annoying. But at least only one lap. I'm happy with that. Okay, N64 Royal Raceway. Honestly, it feels maybe a little bit too long, but I think that Royal Raceway itself is a lot of fun. Um, it's one of my favourite tracks in N64. I think it's between this and the other track of this match. I think it's further up. It was... Kudrua Beach, yeah. It's between those two to be like one of my favourite... to be my favourite track from N64. Um, Raceway, I think, yeah, it, it's very, it's very, very fun. Uh, drives really nicely. I can't complain. The boulders aren't like that annoying either. Um, yeah, it's great. It's it's very, very, very cool. And, uh, again, don't really have many driving complaints for it. Maybe the one corner, um, is a little bit irritating. Like, the bit at the end isn't, like, too interesting. But, I mean, it still drives really nice and it looks like the Mario Kart 8 version, so I'll take it. Alright, N64 Toast Turnpike. This picture isn't entirely accurate because this isn't the version in CCGP anymore. Uh, the one in CCGP is based off the Mario Kart 8 version. And that one is, like, very, very good. I'd keep it. Like, the, uh, all the cars are pretty cool. What I do wish is that, like, if they were, like, custom-made cars, so you could have, like, the little surfboard car in the back, that'd be really cool. And the one with, like, the glider ramp, but it gives you a little boost, that would be really cool. Um, but I don't know if you could do that. Still, I mean, the current version's good enough as it is, so I'm, I'm fine with it. N64 Warrior Stadium. Right, this one's way too long. Uh, this one is, this one I think is still three laps. It's way too long. I don't want to remove, but I think it should be updated. I'm indifferent about it. Uh, like, yeah, cause again, like, Warrior Stadium itself isn't too special. I think it works better in Mario Kart 64 because in Mario Kart 64, the item sets are completely broken. Like, you could get like a star or a lightning in and starting in second, and it was just completely ridiculous. Uh, I think like that matched the chaos of Warrior Stadium. Um, but like, Mario Kart Wii Warrior Stadium? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's just kind of a bit boring. Alright, Neo Cooper City from Mario Kart 7. This track's great. The one track that, oh, sorry, the one issue I have with this track is um, the kind of section before you get to the last tunnel with the last kind of like big user. Um, that's really hard to drive, especially on 200. It's brutal to drive. But other than that, I think the track is really good. Maybe if you upscale it a little bit, it'll be great. It'll be a bit better. And also, um, oh, the other criticism at the very end when you go off the last glider ramp, you can't be anywhere near the left because it's it still fits to be like um, Mario Kart Seven, but that's the main problem because there's no glider in Mario Kart Seven. You just plumb it to the earth because uh, there's no there's no like gap. There's no like floor to kind of like bridge the gap uh, where like you would be gliding. If that makes any sense. I just wish there was floor where you're meant to be gliding. Because if you don't know what you're doing, and you just go off that ramp without knowing, you know, that's a gap, you just fall down, you basically, you basically just lose a race or get eliminated from a KO, which is a bit cheap. But other than that, track's great. 
New Moon Manor. Um, yeah, New Moon Manor is really good. Uh, spooky, scary. Uh, love how you drive on the ceiling. That's very cool. Um, there's so many cool little twists and turns. Uh, you can do. I know you can drive the track backwards as well. That's pretty cool. I never could, but I know you can drive the track backwards. Um, but yeah, uh, the track itself was pretty cool. I love the feeling. I love the bats. I like the disappearing goobers are a nice touch, but I think it's better in theory rather than execution because when you run into them and you don't see them, that's really annoying. But other than that, I keep moving matter. It's a great track. Really, really fun too. Nightlife party. I like the feeling. Um, it's just a bit boring, I think. Like, I, I think the flumps get in your way most often than not, and that feels like the track's fault, like your fault. Uh, some of the shortcuts are a bit hard to make, but it feels unnecessarily hard. And again, nothing really reaches out and grabs me and says this track is like unique and special. It's just kind of like, it's just around. It's just kind of there. Neverbia. Um, it's a snow track, I understand. But I'd say remove it. Um, the only update they really made to this track, to my knowledge, is the um, is they removed the cars like near the beginning. Oh, that's cool, but like it doesn't fix any of the other issues. Like it doesn't feel fun to drive. The snow is like unnecessarily heavy off road. When you're trying to like ramp over the kind of like little snowy areas in the middle, if sometimes you ramp over, sometimes you don't. It feels random. The shortcut's a bit broken. Uh, it's like way too slippery near the end as well. Like I'm, I'm not a fan of it really. Um, it's just kind of around, but I would say, uh, I would say remove it. I just don't find it that fun. Pianta Shore. This one's one of my favourite tracks in the game. I'd say keep it. Um, it's Nate Fox's first CT. It was my favourite uh, new custom track added to CTP in 2021. Uh, yeah, the track is absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I think that, uh, yes, the chalk would be a little bit broken. Yes, the main city could get a little bit boring. I, but I think that overall, the track is like really, really cool and it's quite impressive. And I think the fact that it's Nate Fox's first CT and he came up with that and made that, that's really cool. Pipe Underworld, bit it. Like, what else can you say about Pipe Underworld that hasn't been said already? It's way too dark. It's not fun. It's, it's stupidly long. Um, it's, it's fundamentally, it's completely broken. I've seen, like, my friends break the track a thousand times. I don't know how it's still in CSGP, but, like, please remember, literally, I can't think of anything positive to say about Pipe Underworld. I just can't. Like, it's just not a very fun track. Actually, no, there is one positive thing. They added a shortcut, um, about halfway through. But, like, even then there's a problem, because, like, yeah, the shortcut's cool. But, like, when you drive into any water, you, you get a respawn it's out of bounds but that part isn't so it's very very confusing when you're first driving to think oh that looks like an extra route but can i go through it because like water does kill me um it's a really weird one um but i would say remove it it, it shouldn't be in cftp anymore uh and yeah uh please please remove this one it's just not it's just not fun Chrono Plot Pipeline uh, from Mario Kart 7. Um, this track I don't have a particular issue with. It's not my favourite track from uh, from Mario Kart 7, but I mean, it's it's all right. Like it's it's not bad. I, I'm indifferent to it really. Like I wouldn't cry if it got removed. Um, but at the same time, the track itself is pretty sound. It's just that there are a couple of really awkward turns, especially when you like, before you enter the last pipe. Uh, like that's really hard to make, especially if you like just had a boost. Like, yeah, that's tough. I'm indifferent on this track, honestly. Quaking Mad Cliffs. This one's really cool. Um, I do like how you can take the shortcut all uh, all three laps if you have mushrooms. That's really cool. It doesn't just, like, lock off the shortcut so you can take lap one. Um, but, yeah, honestly, I think that the uh, the track itself is, is pretty fun. There are some sections which, like, maybe feel a little bit drab, but, like, I'll, I don't really get that impression from I still feel like driving through... Quaking Mad Cliffs even now, I haven't got bored of it, so, and I've driven it quite a few times, so, I would say keep Quaking Mad Cliffs, it's, it's a fun little track, uh, I love the kind of, uh, sky theme as well, I think that's really nice, it's like Misty, I really like that fact. Rainbow Solar Edition, um, god, I mean, like, okay, it's a, it's a good track, it's like, um, what's it called, it's, yeah, it's a fun track, but, it shouldn't be two laps. Like, it's way too long to be a two-lapper. Um, I'm indifferent to it, 
I, I would say if it's, if it's a better version of 3DS Ram Road, put that in instead. But like, I'm indifferent towards it. I just want it to be updated so it's one lap only. Like how it is in 7. But like, there's, there's no issue with that. Um, the rest of the track drives fine. Apart from like the unnecessarily massive drop like to the moon. But again, I don't think that's the greatest fault. I think that's just the track being the track. Uh, okay. Resway 2. Remove it. It's a, it's a flat circuit. It's a flat circuit that's very boring and it's not interesting. And the, excuse me, the really weird, like, ramps over the water, it doesn't work properly. Like, it, it feels really awkward and it slows the race down. I don't know what more you want from me. It's a, it's a track that should have been removed probably ages ago and it's just, it's just not that fun. It's very boring, very drab. At least it mostly functions well. Uh, like, it drives fine. But it's just so boring. I'm sorry. Rock Rock Ridge. Um, I like this track and how it drives apart from the massive jumps. Uh, like you probably could have... You, you probably could have done something with this. Like maybe add a little fencing path to go down, for example. Um, like you probably could have done that. The boulders at the end are like a really cool little addition. I mean, I know it was in the original as well, but like... It adds that kind of sense of pressure. Like, oh my god, I might hit a boulder at the line. Um, but that's pretty cool. Um, I thought it would be a lot longer than it actually is. It's not as long as I thought. Um, I'm, I'd say keep it. I'd say it's a pretty good track. Rosalind Snow World. Right. I will say remove this one. I think there's, there, again, there's a few issues with this track. Like, um, uh, it's, it's not, you know, the icicle stop you completely is really annoying because they're boxes. The first turn with the zipper is really painful. I know Squire Turnbull has a version that's, I think it's being reviewed at the moment. Uh, or it's been extended but he's fixing. So I'll say remove this one. Because I think Squire Turnbull's track is going to be replacing this one. Uh, so that, I think, is a, a pretty cool thing to, uh, to have. It looks really pretty, though. Rosalind Snow World that's in CCP looks really nice. But just please, you know, please replace it with Squire. It's like Squire's version is much better. Royal Rainbow. I, do, I don't like this as much as I used to. Um, like, it's still a fun track. But I think I've just kind of... I've seen everything to do with it now. And I think a lot of the shortcuts, at least from my experience don't really do that much to help you. Uh, so honestly, I'm indifferent towards this one being removed. Uh, it's still a cool track, but I'm just kind of like, I'm not as into it as I used to be. It drives fine, and I like the visuals, but it's just kind of like, again, I've just kind of seen everything now, and it's just kind of like, there's nothing else really here to kind of keep me engaged. Uh, Rush City Run, remove it. It's, it's not fun. Uh, Rush City Run, the roots, it's like way too bouncy. Uh, the roots are like really hard. I, it, it, you know, the, the main route's pointless, you can just take the shortcut really easily. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not fun either. Like, it, it just feels really nice and boring. When you're going over the ramps and, like, you're trying to get past the buildings and there's, like, just straight right-angle turns, dude, that's so hard. It's so hard to make those, ju those jumps. And uh, I'm just not a huge fan of it. I'd say, I'd just say remove it. Twinkle Circuit. Uh, this is from Sonic Adventure uh, Director's Edition, uh, which is the DX, not Sonic Adventure Deluxe. Although that was a thing, that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, um, I'm just kind of indifferent to the track. I like how it includes Galaxy Coliseum Plus 1 and 2, and then for whatever reason, the Mario, like, the, the, the Grand Prix winning music. That's really weird. Um, but like, hey, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a decent track. It's very faithful to the original. It's very dull and lifeless though. I'm indifferent towards it, but like, add some like more cool, add some cool animations or make like, or more cool animations. The track itself looks very pretty, there's a lot of animation to it, but like, add obstacles or something in it to kind of like make it feel a little bit fresher, I think. Instead of just having like all these blank parts that kind of look the same. Sahara Hideout. Um, oh, I don't even know. It's two laps, it's fine. If it was three laps again, I'd say remove or update it. Um, I'm indifferent towards it. I think, um, like, the shortcuts are, like, hard to make, but they're pretty, good, like, fun. Um, but I just kind of think, again, I just think that a lot of it is really unengaging. Like, I don't really drive through Sahara Hideout and think, like, yeah, this is, like, really, really good. Like, I think, well, not really good, that's the wrong way of putting it, but, like, I don't feel kind of excited when I'm driving through I don't know why. I, I do like the setting. I like the, the, the bone kind of piranha plants. Um, I like the, the I, I, I always have a sand setting. I don't know why the boost power has like weird texture glitches, I'm not entirely sure what that's from. 
And if you want to take the shortcut, um, I do like kind of how it's hidden from view. But, um, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's something about Sahara's hideout which I think is lacking. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But I'm just not as... I'm not as, I'm not as engaged as they probably could be. Sakura Sanctuary. I think this actually is a better version of Cherry Blossom Garden. It look, I love the lighting. I love the uh, the kind of little domed entrance. I have actually seen those like little red kind of gateways in Japan. It's very cool. Um, it's it's simple, but it's like it's short and it's to the point. It, it's a try that, again. It doesn't overstay its welcome. I do again question why you just have the random uh, roundabout. There's no need for it. If it's just a right turn, I like, just make it a right turn if you uh, if you want. Or kind of change the track design. Although I get, I get this kind of aesthetic base, but it's just kind of like I, I don't see the point in having a right turn if it's kind of just like you know, if you're just gonna like, um, you can, I don't see how point of having a roundabout system here, right turn anyway. But I love the theming. I love the cherry blossoms as well, the sakura trees. Like it's fantastic. I do it. Sandstone cliffs. I still stand by the fact uh, in my May ranking video that this track really reminds me of. Um, Donkey Kong Country. I don't know why, but it really does. I think with like the airship and the fact it's in the sky, uh, it kind of looks Donkey Kong Country-esque. I really like the track. It's not too long either. The shortcuts are really cool. Uh, yeah, it looks really pretty. Drives really nicely. Can't complain. I'd keep it. Sarasa Kingdom. This is basically the Daisy Circuit. Uh, I'm indifferent. Like, I can't really say much apart from the fact it feels the Daisy Circuit with like a few kind of, I guess like Tiki statues in there. Like, I don't know what to call them. Um, but like, I mean, I don't know. The track's fun, it drives really nicely, but it's just, it's just data circuit, isn't it? Like, it's just not like, it's not like, there's nothing, again, there's nothing here that's really like super special about it, I think. Other than the fact that it's just like, yeah, it's data circuit. Okay, C Stadium. Um, again, toughy. Um, I personally don't have a problem with C Stadium. I actually think it's fine. Um, but like... Oh, I don't know. Um, it, it's not. I don't like it as much as I used to. I still have fun. I still have fun with it, but I'm not like you know. Uh, I don't. I'm not as engaged as I used to be. Either. The loop to loop is very cool, even if it's a bit janky, and it, it is kind of looking the same thing over and over and over again. Once you play C Stadium two or three times, you've seen everything that C Stadium has to offer. I'm indifferent to whether it's or not, to be honest. It's just kind of like around. Shy Guys Marker, aka Shy Guy Bazaar from Mario Kart 7. Really faithful to the original. Um, the cannon glitch, uh, which basically, I believe it's like if you enter a cannon with a star or whatever, you immediately go into off road. Um, like, pretty much, it treats it like regular off road, it's really like a star, which is very weird. Um, but like, I mean, the track itself is really, really fun. Um, like, I like going through the different routes. They kind of feel, they all feel like good and worthwhile to take. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of it. I keep it. Siberian Chateau. This track is massively overscaled. Um, I think the track will be a bit better if it's like a little, little sh shrunk down a little bit. And a little more condensed. Um, I do like the kind of shortcuts you do at the end. Like, you just skip kind of the majority of like the wooden kind of like platforms bit uh, at the end. I think that's a really cool thing to do. Um, I do think um, the track is a little bit dull in places. Uh, again, it's one of those tracks where I'm kind of indifferent if it gets removed or not. Six King, okay. Uh, Six King Labyrinth. Um, this will surprise people. Uh, this will, I think this will surprise a lot of people. I really like Six King Labyrinth. I love maze tracks, especially, you know, tracks like Yoshi Valley. I love tracks like that. I think, yeah, Six King Labyrinth has the, you know, bean core problem. But other than that, it drives fine. The one problem I have is that, like, you know, um, the ending section, where you go, th well, after you've, you've gone through the maze, you go through the cannon. Oh, it's boring. It's really, really boring. But the actual entrance is really cool. And the fact that there's like different routes you can take depending on what lap you're on, I think that's really cool. I, I, I would keep Six King Labyrinth. Maybe update it so it like doesn't have the um, the bean corners anymore. But like other than that, I think it's a really fun track. Sky Grove. Um, this track is completely forgettable, but it. It looks really nice, drives really nicely. It has mushroom sections which aren't annoying. Uh, the fountains, the, the, sorry, not the fountain, the, uh, the, like, waterfall section is a little bit irritating because it just, it's so powerful. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm indifferent. 
Like, it, it looks really nice, it drives very well, but it's just kind of like... It's like Garden of, uh, Garden of Dreams, you're just gonna forget that it's there. Sky High Island. I think even with two laps, it's very long, but I think that the track itself is actually still really fun. Uh, like, it's, it's not bad at all. Um, it's a fun track. I like all the different kind of EV evolutions. The EV evolutions out of Leafeon. I think Glaceon's in there. Umbreon's in there, I know. Flareon. Like, you know, it's really cool. I don't know why there's a bunch of them in there. Like, you're asking the wrong person. Um, but I like Sky Highland, but like, uh, yeah, I'd keep it. I'd, I'd say keep it. Maybe remove the massive drop, like, after the two split paths action. And maybe make it so one of the paths is like, or like both paths are at least like equal footing instead of one being much better than the other. Sky Shrine. This one feels old, but like I don't have the same issues towards this one as say like, you know, I do towards like Athletic Raceway or Harden Highway, for example. Because like the track itself is still fun. Like, it doesn't look like amazing now compared to like some of the other tracks you've seen. But like honestly, uh, Sky Shrine is actually a pretty fun track. Uh, like the animated dragon is really cool in the background too. Uh, the little kind of shortcut you take to the waterfall is really neat. There's, there's cool things about Sh uh, Sky Shrine which make it enjoyable. I'm indifferent as to whether it like, should get removed or not, but I'm just kind of like, I think it's fun. Alright, Skyline Avenue. Um, I mentioned this like way early back, like at least an hour ago, <laughs> uh, I mentioned this track. Um, yeah, this track was changed, I think, for the better. Uh, like, he, like, Spike had definitely changed some of the settings that, um, uh, that I had problems with. Uh, like, you know, part of the parving is, like, a lot better now. It's still, like, super bumpy. Um, like, some of the... It looks a lot smoother as well. Like, yeah. I, I'm, it's a shame we didn't kind of... Um, well, there's only notable changes in the, um, the kind of actual casino area. But, I mean, other than that, I think the track's actually quite good. Do I still want it in CCP? Not particularly. But, like, do I want... Do I want it to be in CCP? Do I, like... Would I put it... I'll put it another way. Would I put it, like, top 10, I want to keep it in CCP? No. But I don't want to remove it. No. So I'll, I'm just going to say I'm different. Like, it's a good track, but I'm just going to be like, you know, nah. I think Candy Coat is better than this one. Also. Slot Circuit. <sighs> really boring. I, I've mentioned this again. I, I'll mention this again. Because uh, I mentioned it quite a few times. But there's no harm in mentioning it one more time. Um, it's a track that when you've played it two or three times, you kind of see everything it has to offer. Uh, it's not that interesting. Uh, there are a cool couple of shortcuts you can do here and there. Uh, but I just don't think it's that interesting. Yeah, like one of them, like when you go up the massive hill and they have to make a right, like a left turn, so immediately afterwards, that's really annoying. I would say remove it personally. All right, down to the SNES tracks. Uh, I'll, make, I'll try and make this quick as well because like a lot of the SNES tracks were a bit boring in the original, but like we'll see what we'll see what comes up. Uh, SNES Bowser's Castle One, um, bit overscaled, but I think it's actually still quite a fun track. I'd keep it. SNES Bowser's Castle Two. Maybe a little bit dark, but it's a hell of a lot better than the, the version we used to have. Uh, maybe get rid of the Bowser statue. That would be really nice. Um, and I do like how they, um, the creators used the, the dead end, which is really stupid in the original. Uh, they used that as a little kind of shortcut ramp, which I think is really neat. I'm indifferent as to whether this one gets removed or not, honestly. I want it to be updated more, so it kind of like, looks a bit more colourful. Uh, removes the Bowser statue, stuff like that. So there's BC3. Bin it. Like, look at it. Like, I, I mentioned this in uh, CT Showcase, I think episode either 11 or 12. But when we played Sci High's version, me and Mayor, we played Sci High's version of this track. One of the main criticisms was that like, it was too blue. And then you look at this track, and it's just kind of like, it's, look at how blue this track is. Uh, it's just insane to me. Um, like, how has this survived for so long? Um, like, it, it can be fun, but like, that, that most of the sections are barely drivable. The, the fonts are annoying, the fireballs are annoying. The main section when you're going through, like the, main, the all the big jumps are really annoying. Yeah, I'd say remove it. So it's Rock Island 2. It's a fun track, it's very simple, but again, you kind of make the simple tracks. I'd keep it. A little bit slight in the shop section, but like, again, it's how the original works, so I can't complain too much, I suppose. So there's Donut Plates 2. Uh, this is a really cool take on Donut Plates 2. I actually really like the uh, the environment. I really like how it drives. So I'd keep as well. The dirt doesn't like put you on the off road too much. It slows you down enough for you'll still like kind of struggle, but it's not like you know stupidly heavy off road. And like with the f it helps that it has frantic music as well. I think it has like one of the battle course music uh, as well. So it feels like more frantic and more fast paced, uh, pace, which I really like. 
So let's do it at place three, based off the uh, the Mario Kart 8 version. Really good recreation, have no issues with it really. Um, there's nothing really to criticize about it. Um, I don't think the, the water section's like really wet. So I know in eight, original 8 slash 8 Deluxe, it makes it a little bit more slippy, but not like too much. If um, if there was a kind of another version of this made where like the water is a little bit slippy, I'd honestly be fine with it. Some of the corner cuts you can take as well are really cool. I'd keep this one. It's a it's a good one. So there's Cuba Beach 2, based off I believe the tour version. Really good track. This very simple, short to the point. Crabs aren't like that annoying. Yeah, I I'd keep this one in a heartbeat. It's very very good. So there's MC1. I mean it's like it's MC1. It's iconic. Um, I think this one. I think it's five laps again. It's gone from five to three to five laps again, I'm pretty sure, but it's like very confusing. Uh, yeah, I like this track. Um, it's very much a luck track, because if you pull a golden or a star like, near the end, you basically won it, especially if you get a dodge from the star. But I mean, the track itself I think is pretty good. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. It drives really well, it's fun to play, it's chaotic, I like it. We'll keep it. Seth so Mario Circuit 2. Um, this is based off Mario Kart 7's version, I believe. Yeah, it, it's fun. Um, it's a fun version of, uh, of Mario Circuit 2. I, I like it. Um, the shortcut at the beginning is pretty good as well. It's not at the end either, which I think makes it a little bit better. So then, like, you know, you're not, like, banging fries like, right at the end. Uh, and like, even if you make the shortcut, you still have to kind of hold off of it. Like, you have to hold out first. So, yeah, I, I like the SNES MT2. So it's a fun track. SNES Rainbow Road. Man, okay, this is iconic. Uh, I have no problem with the current version in. It's really, really good. I think it's one of the best retro tracks in this game. Uh, yeah, keep it. It's very, very good. Really, really cool. It's based off the Mario Kart 8 version, I believe. Which, to be fair, is a very good version of based off. And I believe the uh, the ramp from Mario Trick as well. So, that's really, really cool. Spectral Station. Um, okay, Spectral Station um, is a pretty cool track. It has a train in it, so Camel will obviously hates it like, right away. Um, but like, I don't know. I think that the, um, the track itself is pretty cool. I just noticed the track's minimap kind of looks like a person. I don't know why. It, it looks like a person to me. Uh, or maybe that's, um, because Funky Kong is kind of in the, in the, the way of the picture. But regardless, I think that the setting's really nice. Uh, I love driving around the station. Like, I think that's really cool. Um, I think there are bits which are a little bit boring in places, but I think that when you're racing, it doesn't really affect it too much, because the boring sections don't last, like, too long. So I'd honestly keep this one. Spike Desert. Oh, man, I, I'd remove it, honestly. Uh, I think that the shortcut is, like, abundantly pointless. Like, it's a too, it's a too mushroom sh cut, but, um, even still, like, it doesn't really do anything. Um, the one thing I do like, I like, like, the, the track drives relatively fine. Um, and I like the dancing spikes, like the little wibbly wobbly dancing spikes, they're, they're funny. Um, but yeah, the, my main criticism is the shortcut is not really a shortcut, and also the blue fire pillars that just come out of nowhere. Uh, I, I don't like that, because it, 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 if you get hit by them, you get past the line, uh, or very close to the line. It doesn't feel like your fault, it feels, it feels like the track's fault, which it, sh it should never feel like it's the track's fault. Star Slide. Camel will hate me. Remove it. Um, it's, it's not fun. It, it's not that fun to drive. Um, you know, it looks very pretty. It's a very, very nice CT. But, like, it's way too long. It shouldn't be three laps, first off. Uh, that's a, it's, this is another main offender. Um, the spaghetti noodle section uh, is like, how do people drive it? It's so hard to drive. Um, and, you know, it's not even a case of, like, get good before anyone responds out in the comments. Like, I've driven this track multiple times, I still don't get how to drive it. It's so complicated. I don't get, I don't get it. Um, and also some of the right angle turns, like, in the main section are a bit awkward as well. Especially if you're coming off a boost ramp and you can't really turn in time, it's really hard. Admittedly, it is really fun on a Formula Kart Wii because the shortcuts are, like, completely busted. They're broken. Um, but I can't factor that into this because this is former Kart Wii and CCP, so I don't want to just, just say bit it. Like, I, I don't find it that fun. Sorry, Callan. Stargate Summit. This, on the other hand, is really good. Um, if any snow track reminds me of Genshin Impact, for whatever reason, this reminds me of Genshin. Um, I don't know why. It's just kind of, I think the, I think the color scheme really reminds me of Genshin. Don't ask me why. Um, I like, I always like penguins floating around on ice map. Um, it drives really nicely. It's fun. The shortcuts are really good as well. Uh, yeah, 
I don't have much else to say. It's a very, very good Snow Castle track. I'd keep it. Summer Starville. This one's, I think, just really forgettable. I know it's in CTGP, but it's just really forgettable. Like, it's, it's a bit boring, it's a bit forgettable, but it drives fine. It drives fine. I like the, uh, the setting, so... I'm indifferent about it. I'm just kind of like, yeah, you know what? Whatever. It's, uh, it's, it's fine, I suppose. Right. Uh, Sunset Forest. I have a, uh, I have a fond memory for Sunset Forest. Should it be in CTGP still? Probably not. Um, but it's fun to drive. It, um, it drives really nicely. The mushroom sections are fun. I like the bee goombas. That's really, that's a really nice touch. Uh, the shortcuts you do, you don't have to take the ramp. I think the shortcuts you do are pretty fun as well. Um, I'm honestly half tempted to say I'd keep it, because it's not like too long either to overstay its welcome. And it gives really fun raises. Yeah, I, I'd say I'd keep it actually. I'm surprised. I was going to put in different, but I'm actually going to keep that one. I think it's actually quite uh, quite a lot of fun. Sunset Rich. This one, on the other hand, I will say I'm indifferent towards. It's, again, it's way too long to be three laps. The mushroom search when you're having to turn is completely agony. Um, I like the hidden star box, um, but like you're never going to go for it during a race. I think just like my main problem with it is it's way too long to be a three lapper, and also it's just like, yeah, it's just super. Um, there are lots of sections that are just super boring. Like I'm not a huge, I'm I'm not a big fan of it, but like there are elements that I like. I like kind of the hidden mushroom shortcut. Uh, I like uh, some part of the track, like how it looks. I love the sunset area as well. Like that's really cool. The kind of like orangey mist is a really nice touch as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm indifferent to whether that one gets removed or not. Super Marine World. Yeah, keep this one. Like keep this is like a really really good track. I love the marine feature. Always reminds me of like a, like Aquarium Park from Sonic Colors or the Aquarium from like <laughs> Octodad. Don't ask me why. Um, but yeah. Um, very cool track. I like the ice uh, area as well. That kind of fits in with an aquarium somewhat. Uh, and yeah, it's a very, very good track. I don't really have any criticisms of it either. It's a very, very good track. Uh, fits the three-lap theme really well. Really like it. Superstar Dystopia. Uh, this one's a really tough one to judge. Because on the one hand, I don't like it as a race track. It's way too random. It's way too, like, you know, it's, it's a really weird drive. Um, but at the same time... I really like it as an experience. Like driving through without raising, just going driving through without a care in the world. It's a really, really fun time. When you're trying to race on it, I'm not entirely sure if it's if I can describe it as fun or not. I'm honestly indifferent to whether it gets removed or not, but I'm actually more leaning toward like keeping it. Because I think honestly, it, again, I think as an experience, it's quite fun. Suzuka Circuit. Um, but nothing happens in this one. I know it's based on like a real circuit, but like, it's, it's just so boring. I'm sorry. It, it's, I'm sorry, Brendan. I, I know Brendan likes his track. It's really boring. I'm sorry, mate. It's just like, I, I can't deal with it. I, I have a miserable time. Um, drive. I remember like, I we got this in the CTP uh, for um, Phantom Rose 9 in one of the CT episodes, and I just skipped it because nothing happened. It was so boring. Um, the rabbit hole. Um, even though it's two laps, I'd say remove it. Parts of the track, like the weird like twists and turns, give me a headache. Um, especially actually the um, the bit where you go under the lake and the massive like the swirly floor. That's really painful to uh, to get through. So um, yeah, I would say remove it. It just feels a bit like it. It doesn't feel like it should be in CGP anymore. It drives mostly fine. I like the Alice in Wonderland theming. But I think, again, this one, when you're looking at it through, like, kind of more modern eyes, I think it's a, a an idea which is better in theory rather than execution. That's my opinion. Thump Bump Forest. I think we're nearing the end now. Thump Bump Forest. Um, came out... I can't... I think this came out in the December 20... The December 2021 one update number two, I think. Um, not for Halloween, so it's a little bit late. But I think that, yeah, Thumb Bump Forest is very, very cool. Love the theming. I love the, um... I can't remember what they're called. They're not like punchy dudes in the main kind of hallway. The Pumpkin Goombas as well are a nice touch from Galaxy. Uh, yeah, it's a very, very nice track. I'd say keep it. It's very, very fun. Uh, some of the turns might be a little bit awkward. And again, 
shouldn't be three laps. But um, the track itself is still fun, where I'm willing to like forgive it for being three laps. But please change it to two. It shouldn't be three laps. Swap swap. I'm just indifferent to it. It's it's very forgettable. Some of the turns are a bit awkward. One of the ramps sends you very high up. Um, I like how it's a dark track as well, but it's not like so dark you can't see. That's nice. Um, also, I like entering a giant swamp mouth. That's really cool. That's a really neat touch. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit boring, I think, for Uh Toad Raceway, aka Toad Circuit from uh, Mario Kart 7. Yeah, this one, um, I don't really have many complaints about it. Like, it's, it's Toad Circuit. Like, you know, what more do you want from it? Um, it's, a, it's a fun track. It feels like how it would in Mario Kart 7. Uh, I'd keep it, because again, simple tracks are still good tracks. Tropical Factory. This one's, again, a really hard one to grade. Um, on the one hand, I think it drives, like, mostly fine. I love the theming. Um, some of the shortcuts you can do are great. Um, it's two laps as well. It doesn't overstay its welcome. But at the same time, um, some parts of the track are really hard to drive through. Like, if you want to try and get up on top of the boxes at the start, it's really hard to do that. Uh, if you know what you're doing, there's a, a shortcut you do on the fountain at the beginning so you get a bit of a breakaway. Random forklifts are around, but they're a bit, I think, too close together. Um, the shortcut is very kind of item dependent, and if you, you make it, more more likely than not, you're going to win. Um, I'll say I'm indifferent to it. I, I don't mind whether it gets gets in or out. Twin Peaks, okay. Um, sure, I think it should be removed. Um, I mean, Twin Peaks. There are elements of what I really like. Uh, like the train section is actually pretty fun. You're actually on top of the mountain. I'm driving through the little kind of greenery area down like a little river is really neat. But the town section looks really boring. The cow section feels a little bit unfair. The ramps in that section are way too high. I don't know why there are random oil slicks there. And also the main contention, contention point is the very start when you're going up the mountain and you can't see the train coming. That I think is pretty poor design. Um, but again, there are bits of the track I like, but I think again, uh, there are more negatives than positives to this track. Underground Sky. Again, a track you completely forget since Easy GP. Um, I remember it driving like really well. Like it drives mostly fine. Uh, which is surprising actually. I'm surprised it drove so well. The one issue I have a problem with is when you go up through the cannon and there's like a little kind of blue section. If you're in the wrong place and you like go off like straight, you fall into a hole and then you can't see. Because the hole is also like blue and like kind of transparent. And it's really hard to see kind of like where the hole is. Um, but, uh, I'm indifferent to this one. I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's alright. I'll just go on off with it. Again, Consumer Fire will hate me for this one. Uh, I'd, I'd remove it. This one is just a complete, like, oh, it hurts my brain. It, it really hurts my brain, this one. Um, you go through so many different sections. It's very weird. The Cooper section at the end feels really unfair. Some bits, are, like, the, the main section where, like, the boost route just feels really boring. The second half of the track, actually. This feels really boring and a bit unfair, depending on where you are. The first part's like a bit crazy and a bit like, okay, this is cool. But actually, like, I think when you get to the green kind of spinny section, um, it's like really boring. Although at least like you can trick in the uh, in the water. That's pretty cool. But yeah, and at least it's only one lap, so like, that's a saving grace. But I still just remove it. It's not fun. Unfinished Mario Circuit. I love this concept for an idea. Like having, like racing on an unfinished track. Although that, you know, that does seem a little bit dangerous. But I mean, you know, I'm not going to tell the people in Mario Kart what to do. Um, but yeah, um, I think the track itself is pretty fun. You don't have many issues with it. I think there are some instances where you kind of kind of get lost. Like I've taken a couple of shortcuts where I actually don't know whether it's going to be out of bounds or not. And um, yeah, that's, it's not easy to do. But I think that actually, you know what? Um, it, it's a pretty fun track. I would 100% keep it. Uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, and it's a very cool contest. Unnamed Valley. Um, five laps. I'm indifferent about this one. It looks really pretty, but I think... Well, it's not even a case of once you've driven it, like, two or three times. Like, once you've driven, like, two or three laps of this track, it's pretty much like you've seen it all before already in one race. It's not that exciting, I'll be honest. Um, the shortcut's interesting, but, like, you can just make it with any vehicle. Like, there's no point in taking the outside route. Why take the outside route when the shortcut is so easily accessible? It's, like, it's just insane to me. Um, but, yeah, I'm indifferent on that one. Just a little bit boring. Vile Isle. Um, this was, I think, the last big, like, CT in the 
second part of the December 2021 update. Um, yeah, I think this track's really fun. Um, again, maybe a little bit dark in some places. Um, like, going through the shit's pretty fun, though. Um, like, taking a little kind of shortcut down. Bottom's pretty neat. I think you can do a gap jump as well, like, near the end is pretty fun. There is a little shortcut section, which does feel a little bit pointless, considering I think it's taking the regular routes just faster. Um, but yeah, very cool theming. I, it reminds me of, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, uh, it's a section in, um, uh, in Sonic and the Secret Rings where you have to fight pirates. It's very, it very much reminds me of that, so I don't honestly keep it. Volcanic Valley. I love the concept of this one. Um, this is a guilty pleasure of mine. I love the concept of Volcanic Valley. We, it's like the Luigi um, S4 Luigi Race, where you go around the track once and you come back in a completely different way. I think that my criticism would really be like one of the routes is a bit pointless, so you can just kind of take the shortcut route and it's, like, you're pretty much done. Uh, like, you're, you're good. Uh, that's much faster. And then um, another one of the ramps near the end is like diagonal, but it's like it's really weird where it lands you, so you can like lose a race if you not know where you meant to land, which is really annoying. But I think that overall it's, it's pretty good. I think with some visual updates, like, this could actually be really something really cool. And it's one lap as well, which is good. Uh, I'm indifferent towards it, I'd say, for this one. Volcano Canyon. This one, I think, is very cool. It's a very, very cool track. I like the little lava kind of, like, sections, like, the little lava pillars at the start. That's pretty neat. Um, but, like, yeah. One section is very clear better than the other. Uh, the other two, actually. Uh, the shortcut's pretty cool as well. I like how they made the shortcut actually quite hard with the fast moving thwomps. That's pretty sweet. Um, so you actually have to like fight to get through that shortcut, which I quite like. It's not like a, it's not like a free cut. But um, yeah, I think if I think if there's updates made where um, they actually make the you know the top two routes like better and more kind of viable, I think that would be great. But um, honestly, I think that um, I'm indifferent towards it right now because it's just kind of like around. But I do like it. Waluigi's Motocross. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy. Waluigi's got another like you know track in his name, but I think at the same time it's just one of those tracks which is like it's just kind of there. It doesn't drive amazingly well, especially the dirt section. I guess it's meant to be a motocross stage, but like still, it isn't motocross. This is Mario Kart Wii, and uh, I, I want the track to be a little bit easier in terms of driving it. But um. I do like the super moon though. The super moon little curve Easter egg is, is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of the sections just feel a bit boring. So honestly, again, I'd go indifferent. Okay, Warp Pipe Island. This I believe was based off an old um, Mario Kart DS basic course, which is pretty cool. I think Mario told me that. Um, but yeah, very, very cool track. Uh, I love the little kind of shortcuts you can do on the pipes. Uh, going through the different colored pipes are pretty cool. Um, I mean like, it's a fairly simple track. I would, again, I would probably keep it just for the uh, for newbies uh, to Mario Kart Wii. But yeah, I think it's a very fun track, honestly. It, it's, it's good. Wetland Woods. I'm just indifferent to it. Like, it's it's not the most exciting track in the world. It's okay. Um, there are long sections which are a bit dull. And the waterfall section's cool. But, like, again, there's a shortcut which is really easy to take. So you can kind of drift and then, like, go over. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of indifferent to it. It's not like anything super special. Um, like, it's fun, but again, there's nothing that jumps out on me that goes like, yes, it's cool. I do like the waterfall section at the end, though. That is a pretty cool section. Um, I like going through the cave and stuff like that, but like, yeah. Other than that, it's just kind of like in the middle. White Garden. Um, this is an interesting one. I'm... Again, I have a bit of a guilty pleasure towards um, White Garden. I don't think it's, like, bad at all. Um, I think it's actually all right. Um, it's not, like, again, it's not, like, super special or anything, but, like, it functions pretty well. And, um, yeah, it's good. Like, it's a good track. But it's one of those things as well, like, do I want to remove it? No. But do I ne necessarily want to keep it? No. So I'm just kind of indifferent to it. It's a good track, though. Um, I do like the shortcut you can do at the end. Even though it's, it's quite hard to do. So, like, it still makes the outer, outer kind of, like, square route, like, you know, a bit more viable and a bit better. Well, not better, but, like, you can still take it. Okay, Windmill Village. Um, indifferent. Like, again, 
The only, I think, really kind of cool part is when you go underwater and you uh, you kind of see all the cheap sheeps and stuff. That's really cool. Seeing, like, cheap sheeps always makes me happy. But other than that, it's just kind of like... Like, what's the difference, really, between, like, Windmill Village and, say, like, you know, Festival Town or Summer Star? But, like, not much is, like, different. So, again, don't really, doesn't really matter to me if it's removed or not. I'm just kind of indifferent towards it. Windy Whirl. Uh, yeah, this one I'm immediately keeping. I love this track. This is one of my favourite CTs of last year. Uh, I believe it's based off We Play, I think someone said. Like, an area in We Play. Um, I thought it was We Music, but it's a track so much I know. Uh, yeah, all the roots, like, make sense. All the roots work out, like, really nicely. Um, and, yeah, it looks really cool as well. It drives brilliantly. Uh, I, I love having races on Windy Well. Like, anytime Windy Well comes up in a throne or, say, like, a CT Worldwide, uh, when I'm doing Phantom Rotor Mines, I always am, like, super happy, uh, to see it. Okay, Wolf Castle Grounds. We've only got, like, maybe four or five left, I think. We're getting very close to the end. Uh, Wolf Castle Grounds. It's a decent track, this. Um, I like the updates they gave there, um, like, before, I think last year, where they had, uh, like, they made kind of the inside area a bit more kind of engaging. But, um, I don't know. I think that the, um, the track itself, like, some parts of it are still lacking a bit. Like, I think the first third is a bit dreary and a bit dull. But when you get to the second third, it's, like, actually a lot of fun. Honestly, I'd keep it. I would actually keep Wolf, Wolf Castle Grounds. Okay, Woohoo Island. Um, this is, well, I believe, like, Woohoo Loop from, um, uh, from Mario Kart 7. I can't really say much about it. It's a very good track, a very good recreation. I think the, uh, the main route is faster than the shortcut, which is a bit weird. But what I do like about, um, about this version is the fact that they added little balloon areas on top of, like, they added, like, little fencing hanging by balloons, I should say, uh, near the shortcut, which make it still viable. Uh, to drive on Mario Kart Wii, so you could put like a cannon there, for example, which would have been a bit cheap. But um, yeah, I think Woohoo Island looked fantastic. Can't complain. Uh, yeah, it's it's absolutely brilliant. I would hundred percent keep it. Honestly, the same thing would go with Woohoo Mountain. Like Woohoo Mountain, really good track. One lapper doesn't ever say it's welcome. Uh, really really cool. No glitch like it's in Mario Kart Seven uh, in Maka Woohoo. But um, pretty much everything I can say about Woohoo Mountain. Or Woohoo Island, sorry, I could say about Woohoo Mountain. Like the same point. Really, really cool track. Drives really nicely. Mario Kart Wii friendly. It's just brilliant. Uh, Yoshi Lagoon. <sighs> Remove it. Like, I, again, I mentioned this in the update when this, when this got updated. The only thing they really added is, um, I think they maybe did a, a little bit of graphical update, but not by much. And they added a little secret Easter egg area on an island in the middle of, like, the map. But that's it. But that's all they really did, apart from maybe, like, bug fixes. But, like, I can't, I can't, like, defend this being in Seeds GP. I just can't. Like, it's, it's not too enjoyable. I do like the mini-map. It's, like, the, the Super Mario World 2 Yoshi. I think that's pretty cool. Um, the giant egg, how you can use that as an actual kind of, like, path is pretty sweet. Even if it's not faster, I still appreciate that. And the Easter egg is cool, but it's just kind of, like, Again, it's way too long for three laps, and I'm just not, yeah, I'm not a fan of um, the mushroom cuts, because, like, again, it feels like you have to take them in a really specific way, otherwise you just fall off. And the respawns aren't that generous either. The respawns are actually quite mean in Yoshi Lagoon. And finally, Yoshi's Woolly Raceway. Uh, man, okay, so, yeah, this is uh, an interesting one. I like the theme. I like the kind of Yoshi's Woolly World theme slash Kobe's Epic Yarn. Um, some, the thing is, there's lots of straight race on this one, which would make it boring, usually. But I actually think that because of how unique the theme is, like, I never get bored looking at things. I always notice something different every time I drive on Yoshi's Woolly Raceway. And the actual, like, is it a bit too long for three laps? Maybe. I honestly can't remember. I think it might be about a three minute track, which actually is fine. Um, but like, again, one route is clearly better than the other, like, I think going up on the roof is a bit better than going, say, inside. Um, but yeah, honestly, I would keep this one. And that's it. That is every track, uh, in this CTGP, uh, track rating form done. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's, uh, it's been a very long video. Um, but again, I hope, I hope you all enjoyed it. 
Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, let me know uh, if you would have done anything differently in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and peace.